Thanks for the $10. Da, 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 da. Hi. Uh, thanks for the double hammy there. White man jump scare. Sorry about that. Hey. How you doing? Uh, hey, thanks. For that. Well, how, how, welcome. Um, we're gonna check out this game for a little bit. I'm only planning on doing the one stream. I'll just say that from the start, even if I adore it. Um, uh, but I, I, I uh, 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 because of scheduling stuff for the next couple of streams that I already figured out, um, I can't come back to Ace Attorney till next Thursday. So I figured rather than starting case five today and then not being able to continue it for an entire week, um, 
you check out something else today. And we're going to do Steam Next Fest demos tomorrow because I need a little more time to finish going through all the 50 million demos I downloaded. So, um, yeah. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, is it strange to eat cinnamon rolls with chili? That's a weird thing only Midwesterners do. I've never heard of that in my life. I don't want to say it's strange because I, I can't even comprehend what that, would, that flavor profile would be. Hold on real quick. Um, cinnamon rolls with chili. Google image. Hmm. So you're not like putting chili on the cinnamon roll. It's just like side by side. Next to each other. Cornbread and chili fucks. I mean, cornbread is like a sweeter bread, but compared to a cinnamon roll? Hmm. Oh. Well, listen, I'm not going to knock it till I try it. It does seem like a weird combo to me. Anyway, um, uh, I really like this ominous Final Fantasy loading screen music or title screen music, whatever, with just this in the background. Yeah, how that bingo card looking? I didn't even bother to fill in my bingo card because it was all wrong, but I don't care. It was a great direct. I had a lot of fun watching it. Um, definitely a lot of shit in there I was not expecting. It was fair to say, right? Um, yeah, there. I saw. I saw people talking about that in the in the Barry Court. That um, oh, thank you, Weeb, for doing that. Um, yeah, that there's a a, a, a game by the Goemon devs that seems to maybe be Japan only. Is only the Japanese direct. Yeah, it's a link to the trailer for it. it looks neat. It's not a Goemon game, but it's very much in that kind of vein. And, uh, that's very silly. I'm playable character Daisy. I know, she's real. Speaking of, 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 of Mario, Balan Wonderland, whatever the fuck they called it. I also saw this, uh, this tweet from Twitter.com. Um, cause, I mean, hell, they're making a new 2D Mario. That's exciting. Um, but... At first blush, I was like, oh, they're making, like, a new Super Mario Bros. type game. But then the more I looked at it, I was like, wait, no, this actually seems to be an entirely new thing. And obviously the name does not have new in the title. Um, but, uh, uh this, this, this tweet in particular really highlighted it for me. <laughs> like, if anyone doesn't remember, when new Super Mario Bros. first came out on the DS, it was a big deal. It was like, shit, this is the first 2D Mario since arguably Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Um... But they kind of got a little bit stale. Like, they had some very cute ideas in them. But this tweet just highlighted, like, left is new Super Mario Bros., right is, is the new one. Like, it not just his... Like, his proportions are delightful. I adore Big Head Mario. Um, but he's just... He's so expressive. It's so cute. It's so great. I really, really like the look of this. Um, it's just very, very expressive. He's back, baby. Yeah. And people are pointing out that his his crouch is basically the same as the sprite from Mario Super Mario World, um, which is it's great. It's just like man, and on top of that, all the silly ideas and stuff. Like it just it looks like a good time. I'm I'm very excited for it. Um, yeah, yeah, and 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 then he turned into an elephant. He turned into an elephant. Big head, big hands, big heart. <laughs> He's three for three. Uh, yeah, I'm. I, uh, it's it's great, and um, I feel like literally even recently. I feel like, I swear it came up in one of the last couple of streams. We were talking about WarioWare, and I was like, yeah, like, I, I liked Get It Together fine, but it was lacking something for me because it didn't, you didn't have direct one-to-one -one control between your controller input and what's happening in the micro game. Because that, to me, is the essence of WarioWare, is like, no matter what the input device is, if it's tilt controls or motion controls or buttons or touchscreen, you do a thing and that's what's happened. That That's what happens in the micro game. Um, and Get It Together was like, you're moving a little guy. And then you're moving the guy and like firing a beam or like throwing a boomerang like that's what's then Im impacting and like it was it was fine for what it was but i was like eh feel i feel it didn't quite grab me and then they're like hey way sooner than i certainly expected um here we have a new warrior wear that is exactly what i wanted it's just it's one two switch three baby we're getting it play the new one play the, the warrior or the or the what I saw people say that day. People were like, oh, Warrior didn't sound like he was voiced by Charles Martinet. Didn't he only say one word in the trailer? He said like he said like one or two words. Warrior. Yeah, I'm down to play Warrior. I like Mr. Warrior. I'm like, that to me is not nearly enough to determine whether or not it's Charles Martinet. It sounds like him to me. I, 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 it, to me, it sounds like Warrior. I mean, it could be someone new. For all I know, I just, I'm like, that. that's just, it's, it's not enough for me to determine if it is him or not. I'll add a whole video about it. I believe it. But 
I saw the Mario Elephant and I knew suddenly there were hundreds of furries who were not considering Elephant as the new hot daddy. I... I mean, listen. I mean, listen. It's... 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 it's good. Listen, when... when that... when they had that, like, one last thing, and they show the extra power-up, it's like, okay, like, what... what's it gonna... what, 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 what kind of silly suit is Mario gonna get? No one was gonna predict, if you, everyone paused it at that moment, no one would predict he'd become, a uh, Dr. Seuss elephant. No one would have predicted that, so that's why it's good. That's why it's good game design. Is when you throw some bullshit out where you're like, what? what? How does, what would that, is he, like, Rambi in Donkey Kong Country? Does he have a lot of momentum? Is he strong? Doesn't matter. Maybe he's the same, he just can't jump. And he's just bigger. It's good. I'm down. Yeah, he's fucking Horton. Super Horton Brothers. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm down for that. Uh, uh, Pikmin 4 looks rad. I'm down for that. Looks cute as hell. Um, I like how aggressively, because every Pikmin game has had, like, remnants of civilization. You're not just picking up fruit and stuff. It's like, oh, you pick up, a, like, a Game Boy or a, a smartphone. Not a smartphone, like a dumb phone. You know, stuff like that. But it's like, no, you're just gonna be in a goddamn living room. <laughs> like, just like, I'm down. It seems cute. It seems it seems like a, like a, a cute little idea and like because every Pikmin game you're very very small right but without comparisons other than like that's a really big lemon you know you don't really feel tiny in most of the time but putting you in a man-made room hell yeah um, and obviously Super Mario RPG where is it where is the eh whatever I'm still just playing Mario RPG the music in the background um oh. When was hype chat added? This feels weird. Hi, Frivolous. Thank you for the the dollar? So I, I read about Twitch experimenting with that and then they removed it. I literally don't know anything. I don't have alerts set up for it. I just saw it in the chat. Th thank you. I appreciate the dollar. I just, I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not against it in principle. I just, I don't know. I don't know what the benefit of that is versus, I don't know, is, is it a direct, I love my chat being more cluttered. It stays pinned the more you spend. I'm scared. Thanks for the two, the two pounds. Is it, is it like a direct tip to the streamer where Twitch does not take a cut? I'm assuming Twitch still takes a cut. I don't, I really don't know. It just showed up. I haven't. I, I every time I've watched the stream on YouTube, I just get distracted by all the super chats, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not against it in principle, but it's like in a big popular stream, it's just like you almost can't read the chat because half of it is highlighted, and it's just kind of aggressive. But seventy thirty post fees. Okay. I mean that's all right, I guess. Twitch not taking cut you card. Well, I'm like I'm like the the whole to me that seems like. The incentive for that is to be like, oh, look, it's a tipping service that's built into the platform and you can design alerts and things around that. But it's just like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, the same as YouTube Super Chats. There's nothing different about them. Eh. Bits are still my love. I mean, I think I think just bits are, I don't know. I've always felt that bits have a playful energy to them, not just because it's like, look at the cute little gems spinning around, but it's like the idea that you just you buy a bunch of them, you can just kind of dole them out um, to streamers and stuff. Yeah. 70 Twitch 30 streamer? Yeah, probably, right? Um, uh, also, speaking of uh, uh, Twitch things, um, there, there, there is a new sub badge. It should have been here a couple weeks ago. For, nice. for, for five and a half years. Um, thank you, Weeb. Yes. Yeah, please, please. I, I ask you only at me if it is um, especially pressing or urgent. Thank you, Viz. <laughs> this is cute, right? Soup. Um, let me spend $700 Canadian to pin a message for five hours. Does it really scale up that high? Oh, that's a lot. I'll see mine in a few days, I think. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, because I, I, for some reason, none of it adds up. Literally none of it adds up. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I started streaming in January of 2018. So then January to like... June is the first half, and then July to December is the second half, right? It's the split of the year. So I need a new sub badge every January and July. But it's every December and every June. Because they start counting at one. 
They don't zero index subs. Uh, so, uh, uh, that's my bad. I've, I've almost missed it like three years in a row, but this is the first year I actually flat out fucked up. So, um, there's a new, there's a new key on the block. Let me show you where I save it. Where is he? Where is he? Um, get a load of this. You've, you've seen the f year five Kiwi key. But have you seen the year five and a half Kiwi key? Who could have possibly seen this coming? Who could have seen this? So if you subscribe for five and a half years, thank you for the hype train. If you subscribe for five and a half years, um, I, I hand you a round bird holding a key. And if you try to take the key from him, he gets mad, so. Also, note that he is holding the side of the key that you enter into the, the lock, so... Good luck opening a door with that. Godspeed. See you in almost three years. Yeah, he'll be waiting. Uh, a Kiwi with a key wiki page. Does he unlock the door for you? Yes. There's actually a small pressure plate next to Kiwi key doors. And you place them on it and it just kind of sinks down slightly. And he looks up at you and you have to pick him back up again. And hold them like a small football under your underneath your arm. You lockpick the door with the kiwi beak. Yeah, you can do that too. Cram them in the key, just smush them in there. Anyway, um, you can throw them like a football. Maybe more like a rugby. Rugby ball. A little smaller, I think. Um, did you see Pikmin Ice Cube Maker? You can make. Oh, okay. So I I've maintained for a long time that the the best um, Pikmin design of all the various varieties of Pikmin is Rock Pikmin from Pikmin 3. Um, they are delightful, and the Ice Pikmin are, are rapidly approaching the top of my list, but this is genius. On many fronts. This is very good. Oh my god. What kind of ice do you- what's in your ice? I guess like food coloring? You can make it that blue? So that's very good. I'm buying three- three million of them. Look at this boy. I- it's- it's- the, the the two peak bits of character design are blob with face and angular geometric shape with dot line mouth face. The, they don't even have a line mouth, they just got two dot eyes. You know what? It's good. On the rocks. <laughs> yeah, me me at the at the, the dive the biker bar in the rough part of town. I'll take a a whiskey on the rocks. Hold on. I brought my own ice. And you open up a little cooler. Drop some of those bad boys in there. You'd be good. You'd be the coolest kid in town. Uh, the two genders, blobs and rocks. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have Ditto on one side of the spectrum, and you have Rock Pikmin on the other side of the spectrum. And anything in between is S-tier character design. They look upon in awe. Pikmin on the rocks. Do, 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 do. Um, sometimes you get your long life milk out of the pantry, and it's not cold yet, but you want some nice cold milk, so put ice in your milk. Alexander Hamilton. Thank you. What's My long life Alexander milk? Alexander Hamilton. So please don't call me Alexander Hamilton. That's not my name. Not my name. Happy birthday wasn't here. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for looking at the bee. Hey, Todd. It's pantry milk. Milk that has a long life. Uh... Is it... Is 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 it is it like is it like it makes is yeah like de I was trying to think of the word like dehydrated milk, but then you're just adding ice to dehydrated milk. Wait wait hold I, I need I need more details here. You can pay a hundred and eight yen for Pikmin food gummy. Why does Japan get all the good stuff? Thick milk. It's like thicker water but for milk. It's milk. Ultra pasteurized can last for a month. It's in the pantry. Is this milk viz? This is not milk, but yeah, this is um, on the back end of Twitch. So uh, uh, if, if you, I mean, presumably anyone has this, uh, but if you go to, go to your Twitch account and go to your, your streamer dashboard, which if you don't stream, you probably never ever look at, that's where you can then set like the title of your stream and the game category and do like the back end stuff. Twitch has been rolling out this thing called Home that lives in that back end, and it's like a, like a dashboard page of just like, here's a bunch of random analytics and stuff, and they just rolled it out, whatever. But they're showing 
like, here's what which of your emotes are getting used the most outside your stream, and like, here's the streamers who have the most viewers in common with, which is all analytics that have been available to you previously. They're just kind of, they made a new UI for it. And Dan did share this in our private chat uh, that Viz is now sharing with the class. I feel like I just need to leave it up on stream for a bit. A dashboard in your dashboard. I, my, my first two thoughts, talking about Booster, my first two thoughts when they were like, we're bringing back Super Mario RPG, I was like, I cannot wait for, um, big Yoshi in HD. I think the internet will rejoice on that day. And also seeing Booster in HD. Oh, the PS5 is getting sleepy. HD big Yoshi. Which everyone knows about big Yoshi, but not everyone knows about Booster. And, and Booster is, is like a fucking delight. And to see that his sprite work translated into a 3D model, I, I I expect I have high hopes. He's a mood. He is. Show Booster. Let me show you Booster in case you've never seen. I did do a stream of Super Mario RPG. Um, if you are interested. Uh, years and years ago. Just I just. I'm just gonna show you the entire Google image results. Booster from Turbo Man. It, he, he's he's kind of like if Wario was even more unhinged. Spin always makes me think of blank. Oh! There he, yeah, listen. <laughs> Same hat. Oh, yeah. Looks like me. Yeah, it is me. That's me. First game I watched you stream? Hope you play the remake. That'd be fun in full circle. It would be. I, 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 I'm not sure yet, honestly. Uh, chances are I might. I think it's a good chance. But I honestly I don't know right now because I... To my knowledge, and I'm sure I'll be, I'll say this, people will be like, what are you talking about? No. Um, to my knowledge, I've never played the same game on stream twice. Other than, like, when I did a couple speedrun attempts of Mario Galaxy. Like, that is, to me, that doesn't count. In terms of a casual playthrough. So, as a, even as a remake, I don't think I have Jet Set Radio. That's still different, because I didn't play the whole game. And I did it for a challenge. It's a different context. Odyssey, I've done, like, bingo. I'm talking about, like, other than, like, randomizers and, and challenges and stuff. In terms of, like, I've played through this game on stream. Now I'm going to play through it again on stream. 12. I never played 12. Fine, Todd. <laughs> Be the booster one in the world. I mean, people think that there's at least some new stuff to the gameplay. Because the, um, the UI they showed in the Mario RPG trailer. There's, like, a percentage meter in the corner that goes up. And one of the screens has a UI of, like, like a combo meter. So there might be some extra layer on top of the combat that they've added. In terms of, like, the actual story and sequences, I don't know. I'm just hoping, because clearly, if this is happening, it's in collaboration with Squeenix. There's no way it would happen otherwise. So I'm hoping that there's still the, the final secret... Uh, not the final, but the, the secret boss fight. That's just a straight-up Final Fantasy boss. And I hope... I hope it looks as out of style in the remake as it does... Yeah, Kulix. I hope, I hope it, like, looks like a boss from this game that they put into Mario RPG. I hope it, like, does not jive at all with the aesthetic. That would make me very happy. So, Delta Retention Gauge. Yeah, maybe. Maybe something like that. You fight Sora. Did I play MGS3 twice? Nope. No, I did a playthrough of MGS3 on the, the YouTube channel Kitty Cat Gaming. But I hadn't streamed any Metal Gear myself until I did Metal Gear Solid 1 on my channel here. Balan Wonderland, secret boss fight. <laughs> anyway, um, also I did start on this screen because I was still installing the game. It was a beefy download. I mean, not a beefy. I bought the disc. I I I went to GameStop and I said, "You got any Final Fantasy?" And he said, "Yes." And he handed me this, and opened it, and then and then he handed me this, and he's like, "You want Final Fantasy, right?" Well, he has you know the Heaven Sword expansion as well. If you want to, you want to play Final Fantasy 4. If you want to play a real Final Fantasy, and I was like, "Did you just open my copy of Final Fantasy 16?" And he's like, "Listen, you asked for Final Fantasy. You didn't say which one." And I said, "Damn, you're right though. That'll be eight thousand dollars." I'm like, "Damn, AAA first party games are expensive these days, huh?" And he's like, "Yep." And I'm like, "Well, can I like can I like leverage my car in the parking lot?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, we we take collateral." And I was like, "Okay, cool." So I had to walk to the office. I predicted Mamma Mia. I kind of did. I mean. I didn't know what I was... I mean, the, the Mamma Mia would have been Mario and Luigi, but Super Mario RPG and Luigi's Mansion 2. Should I ever finish Dark Moon? 
I thought it was cute. I never finished Luigi's Mansion 3 either. I'm really bad at finishing games. I don't know if you know that. The free trial copy pasta. Did you play We Were Here Forever twice on stream? Uh, no. No, I've played a couple different games in the We Were Here. I maybe I've played all of them. But not the whole, not, not, not the same thing. It's excellent. It was, it was okay. Yeah, I agree it was okay. I didn't, I wasn't blown away. Um, I thought it was well suited to the 3DS though. Because the stereoscopic 3D was very good. There were some larger rooms where the camera would move around. And those, it was fine. But there were a lot of fixed camera rooms. Where you'd walk into a room and it's just boom. You're looking in and with 3D on, it was just, you're looking in a little room. And I was like, this is cute. It's nice. And then... The structure of that game, for those that don't know, it's not like Luigi's Mansion 1 or even 3, where it's like one large structure that you sort of unravel and explore through. It's a lot of smaller mansions and hotels and venues and things. And like each one is like a beefy level in its own right, but it, it, it suits itself to handheld play because you just like chip away at a smaller area and move on to the next one. It's like it feels more level based in that sense. So Ghosts are boring. Yeah, I just missed the ghost from Luigi's Mansion 1. Like, I, 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 I respect what they were going for, but there's something about the look of the ghosts in, in one that just are so iconic. And I and I just don't feel the same way about the two and three ghosts. Part time was best in the series. Damn. Yeah, it was cute. I'm, I, I, I think it, I might enjoy it better on the Switch, even if I wasn't crazy about it. It was fine. But... What's my opinion on no chocolate in the Splatfest? I think it's because they didn't want to have brown ink for reasons. I had that thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I did see that. I was like, like vanilla, uh, what was it? Vanilla strawberry and, and mint chip. And and, it, and it's like, normally it'd be like, like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Like that's like the, the classic kind of Neapolitan, whatever. Cho yeah, first of all, I think chocolate would win hands down. I agree with Todd there. Um, but yeah, I was also like, hmm. I think maybe they just wanted to avoid. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's just oh the brown goo would look like poo or something because they have the white goo there for vanilla. It's right there. I don't think that's the reason. I think maybe it just would be too popular or yeah I don't know. Also, just I'm sure they think about the color combinations. You know, like like uh all all of the splat fests. And all like the color palettes they have, they're all interesting color mashups. And maybe they felt like brown just wasn't vibrant and didn't like, I don't know. It's weird. Everything else in the game. Yeah, it's like even even the vanilla white is like a very kind of pastel kind of shade. They did mayo versus ketchup. Yeah, they. <laughs> Poo cum or pink? Ugh. Yeah. We had a three chocolate spat for us already. Oh, did that happen? Oh. Don't use the logic controller for this. I will not. I'm using a first party dual sense. Is there something happening with Logitech? There was milk, dark, and white chocolate. Oh. Okay, well yeah, then then either it's just a, a chocolate would win and it wouldn't be an interesting three-way fight, or or yeah, there's uh, hmm. It's a meme on current events. Uh oh. Uh, I didn't know it was a logic tech controller. Okay, alright. I've seen other things about. I understood. All right, moving on. I don't know. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not gonna hang out and talk about that. Uh, piss versus coming, blood versus come. Who will win? You decide. Uh, let me get caught up on things. What? What is? What is here? What is around? Um, did I eh, with this and these? I choose blood. Give me blood. Uh, buh, 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 blood for the blood. Um, what a segue. Yeah, you know, <laughs> despite uh, despite what you would think, you know, you do something for five years and then you become a professional in it, but nope. Every day I hit start stream, I'm just winging it, man. Oh, yeah, Detective Pikachu, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. That's, that's fine. Um, I, I do. Oh. There was one thing. Uh, 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 I need to find it real quick. There was one moment of the direct that I was like, this is the best part of the direct. Um, hold on. Um, I, need to, I need to find this real quick. It was a, a split second moment of the WarioWare trailer where I said, this is... This is peak everything. Here we go. Yeah, you called it. You absolutely called it. 
if you know my sense of humor, you know th this this is what did me in. I was like, I was watching the VOD, I didn't watch it live, and I was like, I need to watch this about ten times over and over. It's it's fucking incredible. It's it's just like zero to fifty billion. Like that's what happens when I'm working in Unity and something goes terribly wrong. That's what it looks like. So shit. Looks good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Just fucking. It's a lot. And speaking of me fucking around in Unity, um. Uh, 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 wait. Didn't Viz, didn't you post a GIF? Where's a GAM? Oh, I need to find it. Um. Do, 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 do. Um. Uh. Shit. I mean, this isn't it. This is something unrelated. This is just a good meme. Oh god. There we are. Th I thought this was good. Um. Me when I get hit by 10,000 total balls. Yeah, exactly. Where, where is- oh, thank you, Viz. Oh, thank you, Shiv. There you go. That was right there. You tap- you sure did. Um. Yeah, Viz, Viz was like, did Barry have something to do with this? This is somehow Barry's fault. And no joke, I did have the same thought of like, wait, this feels familiar. Ex expand the torso. I mean, listen. Listen, I just, I just have an eye for these kinds of things. I've seen this before. Balan Wonderland power-up. Long Mario's and really can't hurt you. I want him to! Super Berry RPG. You've seen the house? Mm hmm. Berry's house is real. It's inside the Mario universe, confirmed. Anyway, um. Bath books. <laughs> yeah. uh, da, 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 da. Cyberspace Cat, thanks for 50 months. Can't watch for fear of spoilers? Have fun. I'm not gonna lie, ordered a PS5 for this game. I hope you enjoy it. I didn't check out the demo or anything. And also, I wasn't even sure if I was going to stream it or not. But, uh, we're going to check it out a bit. I, I just figured I'd do a, a single stream of it. Check it out. See what it's about. Hang out with y'all. Talk about it. Um, I forget things. In Connecticut. Mamma mia! This spaghetti tastes like shit! That's what it says on the bottle, Mario. Yuki Snowfox, thanks for 25 months. Rosebud Wolf, thanks for the hammy. I'm breaking my own personal rule by being here today. I told myself I'd not get spoiled for this game, like I was with all of Mon Hun Rise and Sunbreak. And a good chunk of Kingdom Hearts 3. But wait until October is going to hurt me. You're the only exception to my rule for this game. Excited to see this Yoshi P masterpiece. Thank you, Rosebud. Well, if it helps you at all, um, I only plan on doing the one stream of it, as I said. So basically think of it as if you're checking out the demo. Because that's probably... I don't know how big the demo was, but... I'll just see the opening chunks of the game. Chug of my own piss. I, one of Bath's author names, I think, was... Was, was it crying... Crying my own... My own cheeks. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, demo's about two hours. We'll get far. Okay, so so more than the demo, but not gonna be spoiling the whole game. In case those of you want to see it, or if some of you don't have a PS5 and want to see a little bit before you get your hands on one, we can cry in my own cheeks. That was it. It's a good name. Uh, Smash Brothers for the hammy, as well. Super Mario RPG remake is great. And all no seriously, that was actually the most hype moment of the direct. And most interested in that Peach game. Hopefully it won't be a letdown like Super Princess Peach and leave a character's backstory unresolved like Perry's. Also, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is like the antithesis of new Super Mario Bros. Weird, out there, expressive, introducing a lot of new things instead of some old homogenous sterile thing. Yeah, I mean, I, as I said, like, I, I I was super into the new Super Mario Bros. on the DS because it, it, it felt revolutionary. It, it was like a new 2D Mario with 3D art. And it's on the DS, and it had a bunch of new stuff in it, but also felt like a classic, traditional platformer. Uh, it was exactly what people like me had been wanting for a long time. Like, I like the 3D Marios a lot, but it's just like, man, remember 2D Mario? But the new brand just, it, 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 for, it, it felt like they were like, I don't know. It's, it's like, if you look at just the first handful of Mario games, it's, it's like Mario 1, you can maybe discount Mario 2. Mario, Mario... One to the Japanese Mario 2, Super Mario 2, is is kind of what a lot of the new Super Mario games. It's like, look, we added wind and fuck you springs and um, poison shrooms. It's just like a couple new things, but the game's otherwise kind of the same. But then you look at Mario 3, Mario World, 
They're so... They're visually distinct. They have different mechanics, different power-ups. They're not the same game, but they share the DNA. But that's not how the new... And there's so many new Super Mario games. The, the fact that they would say, here's a new Mario game. And I would just kind of roll my eyes and be like, okay. Like, that's a bummer. I didn't like feeling like that for a long time. And it's been like, what, like 15 years or something. So I am so excited for a actually new Mario game. Um, I don't want to be aggressively down on the new Super Mario games because they are fun, solid games. Like, it's the... the it, they're like a victim of their own success with them where they're so popular and so competent and there are very clever ideas in them, but... I don't know, but then it, they were like, oh, it's Super Mario Land, 3D Land, whatever. I'm like, this is different. It's unique. It has different ideas and mechanics and stuff. It, it felt more fresh, so... Thank you, Demon Spark. Thanks for the raid. We're gonna get started with Final Fantasy in a minute. Old, new Super Mario. Yeah, God. I'm just so glad they're not using the word new. Even if it was the same exact art. <laughs> Even if none of it looked different. It, it, it just, if they just called it Super Mario Wonder and didn't have new, I'd be like, thank you. Thank you for not having me, forcing me to use the word new. Ugh. It felt not fresh. Well, I always feel fresh playing Mario. That's probably always a bad title. It, it was a not great title for the first one on the DS, and it just became a worse and worse title over time. New Mario. It looks so cute. It looks great. It looks very weird. I like that they've given themselves a make everything weird button that seems to be different for every level. Like, how great is that? From a player perspective, but also thinking of it from like a designer perspective. Like, yeah, we've baked in the idea that every level has a everything's wacky button and it's different per level. Like, that is that, that gives them so much room to explore and, and that's... Way more exciting to me. Even though it's probably gonna be a lot of silly gimmicks. It's like, I don't care. I'm fine. I'm fine with one-off gimmicks as long as there's, like, a foundation that's solid. So, let's see. This, there's a silly button. The, this cookie ain't shit button. The touch fuzzy get dizzy button. So, yeah. Make the pipes worms. Yeah, that's super wild. It's fun. Wow, Fable. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if I care about Fable, but I do love me some Richard Iowati, so... Even if I don't play it myself, I will find clips of it online. Because that man is hilarious. Lord Charco, thanks for 23 months. I'm hyped as hell for New Mario. I really hope the weird voice is because Charles is getting old and not because it isn't Charles. I... I agree. Um... Thank you, Todd. Please do. Graphic design is my passion. Yeah. No, graphic design is my passion is the logo for n n the new Pokemon Snap. Love me some fable. Hell yeah. I am not God's strongest soldier. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wasn't weird to hear Mario say, E grab to finish catchphrase, wowie zowie. Wowie zowie. Atomic Trickstar, thanks for 25 months. That's almost a year. You said it. So, uh, thanks for 40 months. Barry playing 16, meanwhile, I'm playing 14. He's so 2008, and I'm just 2000 and late. It's. Yeah. What if I hit start and it just booted up the MMO? And Yoshi P was like, gotcha. Crazy person. Thanks for 20, sorry, 65 months. I didn't see the direct. I'm still happy to see that Mario RPG's coming back with a facelift. It looks good. I, uh, I, 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 I actually respect the fact that they're sticking to like the isometric angles and stuff and basically just remaking it because they could have given it like almost a paper mario style like side view and just kind of remade the game with a different approach um and that would have been fine but the fact that you can just look at it and just be like that's mario rpg i know what that is it's good they include an ad for 14 in the case yep i already made a joke about that it's right in here it's it's the only i mean i opened up these boxes to get the disc and also to get sad because I'm like, could, what, couldn't there be like a little booklet with some, like, I, I've given up on games having manuals, but like a little, a little fun something. There is a reversible cover, and I don't know why you can see it. The, the art, the art does look pretty good. I might swap it. I don't know. I also think that in a rare case, I actually find that like the American box art is actually pretty good. There's a giant floating head, but it's not, it's not terrible. But the, uh, the reverse is just like a wide shot of him surrounded by stuff. But the inserts are warranty, legal information, and an ad for Final Fantasy XIV. So, thank you, Squeenix. Appreciate it. 
I was half expecting a thing to pop out that was the, um, the copyright disclaimer for Theatrhythm. I had to display all over my stream. I half expected that in the box, but so far, so far we're good. Um, eight towns. Thanks for a year and a half. Happy Midsommar, everyone. He he he. Oh, happy Midsommar. Thank you. I gotta finish that update video. I swear I haven't forgotten about it. It's just been busy. I'm your number one fan. Has a lore manual built into the game now. They call it Active Time Lore. Not Time Lord. Time Lore. TM. Full playthrough? No. No. Sorry to say, I, I am not planning on doing a full playthrough this on stream. Uh, too many games. Too many games to come on. I did not type out. No, no, I just, I was just specifying that. It just sounds like Time Lord. He likes the game where you see Goofy's feet. Who doesn't? Uh, thank you, Towns. Enjoy your mildly cursed on the key. Very mildly cursed. Uh, Total Stoposy, thanks for 100 bits. We're all just confused and throwing money at the streamer. Look out. Uh, yeah, thank you for the, the bits in the chats. The hype, ch hype, super chat. I don't, hype chats? Where are they? That's my fave Squeenix game? Hmm. 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 I have 12 more Easter games. Yeah. Uh, that is a difficult question. I feel like I haven't even played that many Squeenix games. And the, I've still haven't finished FF7. I wanted to finish it before the remake came out. And I did play through the remake and I like that. Um, I've played way more Kingdom Hearts games than I ever thought I would. I haven't played FF9. I watched Bath play through most of it. It looked neat. Um, uh, Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Crystal Chron I haven't played Crystal Chronicles. Is it Squeenix or just Square? FF7, I guess, would have just been Square, right? Because that's before the merger. Same with Mario RPG. Because if you specify Squeenix, then that's since what? Like, I don't know when that happened. Exactly, Tom. You get it. If it's like Shadow the Hedgehog. I have never played Chrono Trigger. Dragon Quest, Spinoza likes. I adored uh, Builders 2. I, I, I'm shocked by how much I enjoyed Builders 2. I don't even know what it was. It was just very charming and very cute and very satisfying to just build little guys and then just be like, you gotta build a little floor plan of a, of a, of a tavern and you slap down barrels and they light up and you're like, wow. My favorite Squeenix game is Hitman. I mean, I don't know about that. I've only dropped, uh, 169 hours. Nice. That's all, I've played a lot of Hitman. That's only Hitman 3, also. That doesn't include 1 and 2. I've played a lot of Hitman. Uh, Power Wash Sim. Yeah, my favorite Squeenix game is Power Wash Simulator. There you go. One nice. Uh, Smash Man, thanks for 100 bits. I'd rather choose bits of hype chatting, thanks. Well, I mean, the good news is... Nice. You, as a viewer, if you choose to support a streamer, you can do it however the hell you want. That's why I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to new options. It's just, you know, my, my, the, the best features Twitch can make are features that the streamer can customize for their usage and their community and their vibe. So whenever it's just like a, here you go, by the way, this makes chat kind of harder to read. Um, maybe not as much, but if they're like, oh, you can customize it and, and change the way it's displayed or allow it to trigger a thing. I don't know. Like, that's always the stuff that I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, letting people find what their use case is for it. So. When the hell does Steam change their font? Oh, Steam had a big redesign, like, a week or two ago. Oh, shit. There it is. Fight against Culex. So jarring. Uh, Barry Dingle, thank you for 100 bits. Kurt DZ, thanks for 69 bits. You can do something like Bar Cheers 69. Nice. Trumbo Wings, thanks for soup. This is cute, right? It's soup. Soup can be cute. That's actually FF4 music? Yeah. There's a secret boss in Mario RPG. That's just a straight up Final Fantasy fight. It's great. Parmesan, thanks for 23 months. Frivolous Insults, thanks for 12 bits. Uh, uh, and you can do nonsense like this to flood the chat. Yeah, I mean, let's not say that cheering cannot also be disruptive. It very much can be. So, that's why it's like, yeah, you know, we'll see. Um, Toaster Posey gifted us up to Moobot. Welcome back, Moobot. Thank you. Appreciate it, Toaster. B2KD4 Judge. Thanks for nine months. Super Chat, pay to win for Twitch. What do you win? I guess you win attention. And that's the goal of the entire platform, as far as I can tell. So you know what? That checks out. Midnight Zeitgeist, thanks for 13 months. 
Sorry, I've been Norded a little bit. Roseblood, thanks for 100 bits. Bits for the new Kiwi friend. I'm glad you like him. Sordin, thanks for 53 months. Magic in the Dark, thanks for 39 months. One day I'll have a round bird key. You're, you know, you're getting there. Appreciate it, thank you. Beepy Sheep, thanks for 100 bits. Bits for cute Kiwi. I wasn't here, thanks for the hammy happy birthday. Hope you have a good birthday and a good birthday weekend. Bagel Tea, thanks for soup. Ori Rocks, thanks for 25 months. Solar Tie, thanks for a year and a half. Great to be back. I'm busy this past three months with new job, but still a bit of pay rent and catch VODs. TBH, I yelled at past you a lot during Phoenix Wright. If that's not the purpose of a VOD, I don't know what it is. I know a lot of people yelled at me from my my Street Fighter VODs too. I I listen, in the VOD, you can't see I tagged those streams with bad at fighting games. So I understand it being painful watching me never block, but I, I said up front I'm bad at them. So honestly, it's on you at that point. Not me for not learning. That's on you. I take no responsibility for being bad at video games. That's my job. Uh, Nerf Herder. Put that in the thumbnail. Yeah, just make the title. I should have me pointing at it. And then pointing at me being with a broken controller like, huh? What do I do? Uh, Nerf Herder, thanks for 35 months. I hope I need to watch some tie-in movie understand the plot of FF16. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably talk about that. To avoid 16 spoilers, yeah. Blocking is cringe, right? Only attack. Um, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll get into it as we as we actually get into the game proper, but uh, uh, the, the, the first Final Fantasy I ever beat was Final Fantasy 15, which is perhaps the poster child for don't look for the plot in the game because you won't find it. And I was quite disappointed by a lot of aspects of 15. So, just throw more punches. Yeah. Yeah, it was your fight theme. Fight against an armored foe. Armored Boss is the one. Sorry for the loss, bro. Thanks. I had high expectations for 15. And, uh... Yeah. You did better on your first playthrough of Phoenix Wright than I did. Thank you. Well, we'll be returning to it next Thursday is the goal. Got a couple of streams planned before, between now and then. Um, I consumed every piece. I watched the movie. I watched the movie before I started the game and was like, okay, I have all this context for all the stuff that's going to happen. And then nothing happened. <laughs> For the va it was the the final quarter of the game, where it felt like, oh right, we should have some plot in here, huh? And then a bunch of stuff would start happening. And by that point, I was like, kind of checked out. So, and then I, yeah, I didn't play any of the DLC because by the time the DLC came, I was like, I'm done. I don't care. You maybe not care about these characters. Nothing happened. I just, uh, I, I I wanted 15 to be a road trip with four bros in a convertible going around the countryside and getting into trouble, both with themselves and each other and with the places they wound up and the authorities. Like, I wanted, like, a police chase, you know, like, on Chocobo, like, whatever. And by the time two characters had a real argument, it was so far into the game. Up until that point, they're just archetypes. They ne they didn't feel like human people. They, they had nothing relatable. And it was so frustrating that by the time there was a fight, I was like, I, I, why wasn't this like 13 hours ago? 16 was a good story. I've heard good things about 16. I just know almost nothing going in. It took so long for nothing to happen. But by the time things happened, it was like, shit, it was just so much. But yeah, I wanted it to be Road Trip Bro Simulator. Instead, it was, let's very slowly travel and listen to Final Fantasy music, which was okay. It's just not what I wanted. <laughs> It had so much going for it, yeah. I, 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 there were there were parts of it I did enjoy. But then there was also stuff like, I remember being so hyped when I got my first summon, and that's when I learned that the summons are random. And that you just, you, my, I, I, it's been a long time since I've played it, so correct me if I'm wrong. From what I remember, you would be fighting and one of your summons would just decide to trigger. The gentle music is nice. Too me 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 beep 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 this is calming me down actually I'm feeling better Prompto was good yeah he was the best character but they didn't do enough with him music too soft they were scripted oh were they scripted they weren't even random because I think the first one happens during a big scripted fight in like an enemy base but yes it is Apple Boy um the anime and toys fight still makes me laugh in a pain way yeah I never did that as soon as I learned oh there's a turtle you can slap the the the, the, the front toe of for 15 hours and then it dies. I was like, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, Square. I'm good. 
The odds of something happening increases as the fight goes on, which one you got was determined by your battle location. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. Because again, it was the first one I beat and this first one I sat down was like, I'm gonna finish this Final Fantasy. I've only ever just played the openings of a handful of others. Um, and it was the hot new game that came out. And I was like, okay, you got, you got your summon. Well, it's just gonna, like, particles will start firing at some point. And this game seems like the polar opposite, where you just have just Godzilla destroy all monsters melee fights. Classic moment. Is this, is this... Yeah. An oldie. I mean, it, man. I, I... Rena tweeted, who has that one berry video? Um... And I said, what? And then, and then Gam hopped in, he said, a uh, uh, classic. Um... An oldie. I'm not here for nice. An old, a uh, very old clip. And then go up. From a million years ago. Yeah. Now we can check out that pipe. Shishi ne pa um peep. Who is that child? Who is that? A Yoshi friend to call. So innocent. It's so naive. And now we can get the wings. And now we can just skip. Way cool. I'm not here for nice. I'm here to get shit done. Anyway, that's baby berry vids. Those vods are still out there. YouTube brought back sorting by oldest uploads, so you can you can watch my oldest streams and be like, oh my god. Oh wow, he really hasn't gotten any better at this, has he? Yeesh. Missed the floor streams here. Yeah. It's been a bit. Uh, yeah, and then I died. The end. Oh, really? Yeah, they did. Were they even hammies back then? No, I don't remember when I started doing hammies. Like a year in the stream or so? Uh, the poop brain has always been there. Nerf herder, thanks for 35 months. I hope I need to watch some time movie. I did read that. Thank you. Uh, smash for the 600 bits. Melgar's Solid Master Collection Volume 1 looked cool, especially since it says the first two MSX Melgar games. Is it the first time those two games were translated and released in the West? No. Um, the first two MSX games were released with the, uh, the HD collection, which actually I think I have the box of right here. They, they've been released a couple times. Um, I think they're in here. I could be mistaken. But they have been re-released. The thing that's actually kind of wild to me about the Master Collection that they're showing off is, one, they're putting them on the Switch. I'm like, I hope they run well. Um, uh, for two, uh, I, yeah, I, I, to me it's wild and is it, I, I, it seems strange to me, but... They're not only including the the original two MSX games, the the canonical Metal Gear One and Two, but they're also including Metal Gear for the NES and Metal Gear Two Snake's Revenge in the West. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Snake's Revenge was the Metal Gear Two that we got in the States and was not developed by Kojima. It's a completely different game. It is it is non canonical. Uh, and so for them to be releasing it in the, I mean that's a good thing. It's cool that they're they're dropping it in there, but. Yeah, and, and previous bundles, I, I believe... No, I think what it was was uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence included Metal Gear 1 and 2, the, the MSX originals, translated. Um, I think that's what it was. I think they're in Subsistence. But, um, yeah, they, 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 they haven't, to my knowledge, re-released Snake's Revenge or anything. So, hope Ghost Battles Volume 2. I, I hope Volume 2 is just, like, the works. Yeah, it's like a Doki Doki Panic, except instead of... Doki Doki Panic with Mario sprites, they just, I think, just made a completely different game. Just outsourced it. And they farted it out a, a sequel, and Kojima was like, that's not my Metal Gear 2. We love game preservation. Listen, I I, I will be f first in line to say fuck Konami, but if they're making correct decisions and they don't fuck it up, then that is good for gamers. And what's good for gamers is bad for humanity. And that's a promise. Uh, Demon Spark, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Avasabi, thanks for 100 bits. Happy 16 day. I'm thrilled that folks that don't do MMORPGs have a chance to see, hear, and experience the 14 devs attempt a single player RPG. Hope it's a good time. Thank you. Generous, thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. I passed a building that said Faye and Co on the side and had to do a double take the other day. Maya, is that you? I'm excited to get back to Ace 3 next week. Uh, Madam Rekha, thanks for nine months. I did, I kind of missed the artwork for 90s games. Hand painted works are tough to contend with. It was just a way more wild and abstract. Happy nine months for myself, and also Final Fantasy X was the best Final Fantasy. 
before 15, 10 was the Final Fantasy I had played the most of. Because I rented it back in the day, and I got up to... I, 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 every time I've mentioned this on stream, people tell me the name of the location, I always forget. But it was at a part of the game where you had a long road, and I think this is the first part of the game you could get chocobos. That was where I got to, and then I had to return the disc to, to Blockbuster. Um, so that was what I got to, but... Never went back and finished it. Airbrush Neon. Old Town Road. You gotta take me down to the Chocobo Road. Blitzball Road. Man, I wanted to like Blitzball so bad. That opening pre-rendered cutscene to Final Fantasy X lives in my brain alongside the pre-rendered Sonic Adventure opening. They have almost nothing in common except maybe early 2000s CG water. But man, both of those were my jam for a long time. Something about the vibe, man. The vibe of Xanarkand in the pre-rendered trail the pre-rendered cutscenes was just like so tasty. So good. I love his I love Blitzball Cocoon. <laughs> you have like like a, one of those sleeping bags that you zip yourself up into. And it just says Waka's face on the side. Good vibes only. Hot take every side minigame FF has ever tried has been bad. Yeah, I can't say Blitzball was good, but I wanted it to be good. Square said the remaking 10. Don't know how I feel. If they redo the voice acting and, and they make the, the laughter scene not cringe, then what's the point? The whole point is, is the ha 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 ha. Todd Lee loves Blitzball, but can't tell anyone without being criticized. <laughs> what about the Golden Saucer? What about it? You guys don't like frivolous gamblings in my video games? No. Trump Wings, thanks for 69 bits. Nice. Smash, thank you for the tweet. Link and the bits. Cast the cow. Thanks for 15 months. And Dragon with a Fez. Thanks for a year and a half. Good evening, Barry. How's the game been so far? Well, you know, I've been streaming for an hour and haven't touched it, so we should probably do that. Um, enjoy your very mild Chris Skeleton Key. This is Final Fantasy 16. I need to play this because I said I'm only doing one stream of it. And, uh, oops. Let's see what it's about. I did, you know, want to install the game onto the PS5 first. It was ready to play, but I, is anyone else with a PS5 out there? Whenever I'm installing a game from the disc, I worry, I mean, maybe it's because the PS5 runs really quiet, which I'm not used to because the PS4 sounds like it's taking off into space. But whenever it's copying from the disc, I'm like, what are these noises my PS5 is making? Are these good noises? And then it finishes. Literally, when I when I bought uh, Last of Us Part 2, I installed it onto the PS5, and I thought my PS5 was dying. I was like, what the fuck? It's just, it's just, it's spinning that fucking thing. And I'm like, I guess it's because I'm used to it being quiet and it's fine. I haven't had any issues with my PS5. I've had issues with the controllers. I'm very annoyed with Sony for these controllers. I've had way more issues with them than like any other first party controller ever. And I've been, I've been gaming a long time. Anyway, let's play Street Fighter 6. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Enough, enough preamble, Jesus. God damn. Um, I thought it was only mine. Okay, cool, great. Rad. Uh, this is Final Fantasy Xvi. Do you pronounce it Zvi? I'm new to Final Fantasy. Is it is it is it Zvi like like uh like German? Ein Zvi Drei? Is it like that? Um progress is saved automatically. Okay. That's a fancy little guy. Also, um I watched um I watched the Digital Foundry video uh, about Final Fantasy 16. That's pretty much all the context I have for this game going in. But they were like, hey, we actually recommend you stick to the graphics mode. Most of the time, I'm like, performance. I don't give a shit about uh, anything else. Uh, I just want high frame rate. And they're like, it's pretty bumpy. Whereas a solid 30 frames per second was better in there. In there. And I'm like, I don't I don't own a, 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 a 4K screen. So it's kind of wasted on me to be like, look at all these pixels. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's a bit better not dealing with frame drops. Yeah, that's a bummer. Madman, thanks for 16 months. Can I get a rough estimation on the Tears of Kingdom spoiler stream date? Yeah, at the soonest, like two weeks from now. Because I, I got like a whole week of streams figured out and planned. Um, is this the correct? I think my capture looks a little bit dark. But maybe I can up the brightness. That looks better. That's v almost no difference. I just worry when the stream capture is dark because then it gets crunchitized into nothing. Visual alerts. Visual repetition in game sounds and music. That's cool. Accessibility. From from Squeenix? Okay. Gameplay focus. Give me the action. Are you a baby or are you a slightly older baby? What is this? 
Several accessories to simplify gameplay. Recommended for those players who are less comfortable action games, which focus more on the game story elements. Recommended for players who are comfortable with action games. Listen. I know an action game. You must select. I... The check mark. Okay. Confirm settings. Ye yes? I... What? <laughs> I had to... I had to press down off of nothing to select... Okay. I'm like... I like that they still have a finger Once hand pointing. The chronicler okay. Said, huh? That the land of Alistia okay. is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. Yo, is that Mars? And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Best name for a studio ever. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. All right. Wow. Okay. Cool. Okay. Fireball. Fireball. Fire fireball. Oh my god, the music is very good. Okay. Pew 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 pew. Chill. If we catch up to Gandalf, can we save him? Pam 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 pam. <laughs> Mashing triangle rarely feels good. Oh no! Hey, no fair, I pressed R1. I hate that, Mortharos. Thank you. It's Cloud. <laughs> the nice of the file. The, the doll Mickian. Uh, sure. It's it's Stormy Cloud. That's his name. Rain Cloud. Right soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Among us. Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. My tattoo. Let's get this done. Dark Cloud for PS2. Mm hmm. They're British, they is. I'll work for the crown. I am, I am. Yeah, he's got a goopy hand. Power Wash Sim crossover confirmed. It's only a matter of time. Only you. Yeah, this is the Final Fantasy. I've been saying for years one day Squeenix is going to make a game called The Final Fantasy. And then make a The Final Fantasy 2. Focus, Wyvern. 
You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. I'm focused. Hi, Killy. He's lost stick to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Hmm? Ooh. I'll open the main menu. Gameplay configuration. Oh, okay. What do we, what do we got here? <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, you have outdone yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen. I'm waiting for that check in the mail, Nintendo. Come on. Why is that creepy? Uh, Barry's house has always been creepy. Gameplay configuration, yeah. We don't have time for this. Whoa. The hell is about to break loose. Oh. You know, they were they had high praise for the motion blur in the Digital Foundry video. I gotta say, that, that does not look good. Look at his face. Oh. It, it is like way too aggressive. I don't hate motion blur. And and for 30 FPS game, if you're playing 30 FPS, it's it's yeah. There's no option to turn it off. No. Yeah, while well, you're just moving around, whatever, it's probably fine. But that does not give a great first impression. Cause I'm I'm moving the camera. Why is there a trail in front of his face? That's weird. They've confirmed the options coming. That's nice. Ow. Wyvern, focus! Oh, my eyes! Wyvern! Stop staring at the sun! Uh, it's a big crystal, isn't it? Wyvern, that's not a crystal, it's the sun! Uh. Can I sprint? Can I move faster than a... than an angry... Did you hear me, Wyvern? Yes. I did, God. Were you my dad? Is he my dad? Time to move! Okay, yeah. Tilt fully to run. What is this, Mario 64? Just in time. Tutorial mandated lore walking. My limbs are heavy with the burden of lore. Does anyone genuinely enjoy motion blur? The Republican Army front lines. I do in some circumstances. In some games. It's do is it doing the Final Fantasy fucking It's doing the theme over this? Yeah, prelude. That's pretty intense. Just one fourteen. Yeah, when do I get to play Blitzball? This is going. Where's Auron? This new dominant of theirs. I thought this was Final Fantasy. What? All I have a sense of this looks like fun. Wish I was playing it. <laughs> Wish I was down there. Fighting a million dudes. I gotta go there. Touchpad for lore? Huh? What? Huh? huh? During cutscenes? Hold the touchpad to access Active Time Lord. ATL, TM. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. So they expect you to go, huh? And then have to be like, hold on, let me open the in-game wiki. I mean, that's kind of great. That's just, it's, it's hilarious that they branded it. All entries can be accessed later in the game. Okay. Oh, no, no. Don't make me have... Uh, I I am not a big fan of fake cursors with an analog stick that then slow down over the thing you can select. That always feels so gross to me. Um, Fort Zernitra, a stronghold situated at the western end of the Nysa Defile and the Dalmechian Republic. In the year 873, it served as the site of a meeting convened by the Dalmechians with their 
will load her allies in an attempt to enlist their aid in driving back the Iron Blood, who have been a thorn in their side since the Battle of the Twin Realms eight years before. We're getting the fuck in there! Men of the Fist, the Dalmechia's standing army, while officially an organ of the Republic, each of its five states has granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of its troops. Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units, employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former are known and feared for their curved swords and prodigious axes, and the deadly skill with which they wield them. Are they black mages or white mages? The Dalmechian Republic, a nation formed from a federation of five smaller states, it is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm, and has its capital capital at Randilla. It's also home to the Mother Crystal known as Drake's Fang. There is no official state religion, and citizens are free to worship as they please. Nomekia's key political entity is the Parliament, which is formed of ministers representing each of the states with the Prime Minister at its head. Eh. The right. gates, They're just mage mages. Move. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? I do not bend the knee. Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Walud! Walud. And you have His Majesty's answer. What? Lude. Wow. That's the folder with all my Warrior and Waluigi fan art. Walud. Crystal water. They got Crystal Pepsi in there. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? I can fancy uses magic for mundane stuff. Who drove Same. Back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger them. It sounded like his audio what was cut did off. Did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. He's very big. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Is he the heavy weapons guy of this game? It costs six million gil to fire this energy crystal Rich. for Just ten seconds. Popka! I am heavy the weapons. Iron blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. Sex this will happen soon. So oh. Good game. Pretty short for seventy dollars, but you know. You cock. <laughs> you pussy. Benedict. <laughs> mm. Oh, sex soon. You were not joking. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare, or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the cliff face. Come on, stop taking a shit. We gotta go. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. 
the chaos will conceal us. At the halls of justice. It says sexual themes on the box, does it? It it Violence, blood and gore, sexual themes, partial nudity, strong language. Oh, they're getting in there. Yo, yeah, it's well, rated M. It's 100% rated M. For, for M for meat sacks, it says. Huh. Don't know what that's about. I can jump? What? You can't- you have a jump button in this? It's M for saying the word cock. Mm hmm And not in the context of poultry. That is cool. Neat. How much can we show before game- we <laughs> What constitutes partial nudity? Where is that line? Someone somewhere in a dusty office with beige colored walls has a line that's like, this is partial, this is full. And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> like half a teat. Take the van. Part of skin not exposed. So someone's fully naked but has a bandit on their shoulder? It's partial. Wait. Something's not right. Finally, grew tired of being slaughtered. He's got a butt, though. Ha. And look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. Is the same universe as 15? I believe it's an entirely different universe. I could be wrong. There she is! Again. Most of them are here. Yeah. Do I get to mass triangle again? I kind of fucking love this, not gonna lie. Like, a lot of Final Fantasies have slow starts, and this is not one of them. At least this part of it. What? You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Is he Shadow the Hedgehog? What? <laughs> what? Huh? What? <laughs> Why did he just... He just had super speed? Okay. After... Oh. woo Yeah. Eh. 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 Yeah. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. Uh. Oh. Up we go. Is Lay from another game? Uh, she's just, uh, what's her face? Shiva? There's a lot of recurring summons in all the Final Fantasies. Good game. Good writing. Yeah, Titan. Efreet, um, the, there's a million of them. Not a million, a bunch of them. 
ice and earth elements. Yeah, if you see a, a, a lady, magical lady with ice. <laughs> oh, shit, okay, well. Sploosh. Shit. Wyvern. Wyvern. There you do. That boulder was meant for Goofy. It's server. <laughs> God damn it, Red. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Fucking Chris Tucker. Well, he's not gonna be at Final Fantasy 17. I did up the brightness. Is it? Is it? Is it not good? Is it good? How's it look? Fine so far. Cool. A flashback. Thirteen summers earlier, you have the realm eight sixty. Rosalith, Grand Duchy of Rosaria. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Oh, well, I'm glad I'll have to defend you. think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to Tiny eventually. Dog. Small Don't dog. Give up now. Oh. <laughs> this is a very well-rendered dog. Torgi? His name's Torgi? Wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. You can already buy plushies of the pup. I can't even be mad about it. It better be one under. Let's start again from the beginning. Come. Teach me the Show basics of CQC. Form. Attack the Lord Commander. Hmm. Square to perform melee attack up to four attacks can be chained together. E e yeah, yeah. Mm. Once more, please. But um, if you insist. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Okay, Professor Chinstrap. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Close Swordless Combat. Channel your flame. Within you, without you. Triangle for fire. A ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Meow. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Oh, he dodged it. Meow. Excellent. Excellent. Ow. Ah. Well done. Thank you. You wield the Sims of James Corden? Just as a first shield should. Stab it. You flatter me, my lord. Excellent, I'm on fire. <laughs> can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. It's it's on your toes, Lord Rossfield. Okay. Is circle my dodge button? R1 is your dodge. They did teach me that earlier. Okay. If they can attack at the precise moment it is dealt, will slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter. Okay. Um. Oh, to be in case so anyone young, didn't know, so this game features lip sync for the English voice acting, and the English voice acting only. So if you play this game in Japanese, it has the English lip sync with the Japanese dub. And I, it's weird. It's strange. Like, I get that they're targeting the West aggressively with this entire game's, Clyde, like, aesthetic and everything. Only weapon. But, um, Quickness of thought you know, and fleetness idea. of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. Like Ghost of Tsushima. Well, Ghost of Tsushima's made by a, a, a shield, American? Are you? Yeah, and Sonic is American. Show American developer. Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power Suck, now sucker punch. How do I just get those two confused? Thank you, Todd. Well, 
I'm waiting. Okay. No, Travis King's getting this first. Yeah, it's weird for Squeenix to not even be like, yeah, I mean, it, it would be a lot of work, so I get it, but eh, it's weird. Vision for the game was to be in English. That's why it's the main language. Are, are they are they advising Japanese players playing English with Japanese subtitles? I mean, that's kind of nuts. I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. Press circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Melee range attacks. Magic can be used while executing a Phoenix Shift. They want me to hit circle and square at the same time? Or just while you're doing it? Oh, okay, so you, there's a window. Yeah. Okay, well that explains how we Sonic numed. They have to choose between sub and dump out the turntables. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every. Don't go all in the European field. Yeah. Death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. It's an interesting choice, no matter how you slice it. There's only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Anglophiles. Your mended, and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Never going, Damashi. Thanks for stopping by. Mend your wounds. Use potions. Consumables such as potion tonics can be used to restore HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assigned to the D-pad. Not D-pad left, but up, right, and down. Via items in the main menu for quick convenient use. These items can be used directly from the menu. Give me a potion. And a high potion. Blessing complete. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. Wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. Mm -hmm. You must be ready to utilize every tool we love at that your disposal. Form. What's if the opposite of a weed? A path to victory, or at the very least, Anglophiles. Sure that you live to fight another. Too unwieldy. Angie, like Anglo. It's time a for the test. You've recovered from your soaking. A tiabu. I have heard that. Before. You want to kick a man while he's drowned? I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe He's yourself still only worthy mm. to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Meow. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. The will gauge indicates the opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. So I'm I'm embarrassing them to death? No one, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Kai. Just stay calm. Yeah. That's try. Yeah. Ah. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Kai. Uh. Uh. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Yeah, get his ass! Oh. Lord Mordok's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as he can before he regains his senses. Use R2 plus square to execute rising flames. A powerful iconic ability granted to Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Okay. Yeah. I gotta wait for that. It's time I took my own advice. Used all the tools at my disposal. Try him, old man. Down with you. Now I'll show you. Was not expecting a choir to sing the victory fanfare. All the tools at my disposal. This is Dark Souls fat roll. I told you he could do it. Aye. It's got a good stink to it, yeah. Best is at last. That's Let's also the fanfare when I finish a happy meal. When you finish your display worthy of your father. Your dino nuggies. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. 
The Popo is hippie. And therefore I am hippie. Flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. No. You shouldn't be outdoors. Not the sickly Victorian oh, child. Just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Cough equals death. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Your Grace, please. <laughs> Little this is brother. No taste for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Little sibling miasmas. They do double damage if you're wearing Victorian Joshua. attire. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Oh, okay. Ma'am. Mm. Murdoch. Your Grace. Parents, when you dye your hair. <laughs> what a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. We should join them. His sort is comically large, but not, like, comically, comically large. You can really tell they're grounding this Final Fantasy in reality. Because <laughs> that is a very silly-sized sword for a young man. But it's not the size of a building, so, like, it's, it's progress, you know? Final reality. Oh, look at that proud chocobo. Their armor is great. I really like the looks of it. Quet. Bar quet. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, father. Thank you, Joshua. Give that chocobo some well, well, I trust. Yes, father. Oh, I did remove our quiet, didn't I? Today, <laughs> Shit. Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Oh! Oh! He fell over. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed! Don't, don't eat that. Don't eat that. 
I don't have that butterfly in the museum yet. Don't eat it. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Is this a foreshadowing? <laughs> Thank you, Todd. He's 15 in this flashback. He's Final Fantasy 15. Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. I was going to fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Current destination will be displayed with an icon. Is trouble brewing? Yep. I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Father? All right. Let's get this. Give me the shiny. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. They're shiny as fuck. Items discovered can be viewed in the items tab. Stuff on time to the Duchess calls for our heads. Right you are. I like that the subtitles appear off to the side like that. That's nice. You don't have to look at them or something. Check your lore. I gotta check my lore. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, Torgal. Clive's faithful friend brought back from one of Archduke Elwyn's expeditions to the frozen northern territories. He went all the way up to Canada, where he was found half-starved and shivering in a snowfield, having presumably been separated from his pack. Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became nigh inseparable. Thank you. I did need. I did need the dog. This lot before we lose the light. Um, but there's a shiny back there. Eh. Eh. It can't. Eh. How do I get the shiny up there? Shit. Torgul. Make sure all the crystals. I hope we get a Torgul spinoff, like Nintendo Dogs. The way I see it. He did say he was gonna move it. Yeah, but not. He's taking too long. He doesn't know how to mantle yet. He's too young. Nintorgles. Good as new. Uh, 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 forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 but I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. I did not was know that, Shiv. Born in your father's dominion. That is Very a fun fact. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Look, he's a cool tattoo. Mm-hmm. Stand, please. I mean, they did set me up to think those tattoos meant something of status. Start. It's just, uh, seemingly the opposite status than I, I thought. trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. Yes, Yo, feudalism! Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Is that the guy who got squished? That's who I thought at first, but now I'm not so sure. He's talking mad shit once they leave. He's been raised on cigarettes since he was old enough to eat solid food. It's the, listen, that's why they call him the Phoenix. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Oh, poor goal. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he also has that, yeah. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can. Mm-hmm. Best fill our bellies while we can, then. Right. In this economy. Zuko feels. High potion. 
Hello. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. <laughs> Barra. Right. Throne room. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Huh? What what is what is Joshua? What is happening to this bush? Sir, what are you doing to this bush? Oh, uh, we don't know why the bushes just really like it, my lord. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're really into it. Is he trimming it with wind magic? Trimaga. <laughs> Zeta trim. Lord Marquis, forgive my man. You'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place, tidied up for the big procession. Hmm. He's blowing the shrub. Yeah, that's what they call it. Hello. Clive, I. Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. None of these death flags are real. Right. They're gonna be just that fine. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. Mother! All other concerns are insignificant. Mother! Sorry, I'm not the Phoenix Reborn, mother. Excuse me, I have a date with father in the throne room. I must tarry, mother. Pardon me. Coming through. My biggest pardons, mother. Uh -huh. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Okay. Well, ugh. They're using the fucking dual sense trigger shit to make it. You gotta, you gotta squeeze it harder. Hmm. Well, class wants to be. She's a big fat bee. <laughs> Biggest bee in the whole wide world. All the boys and girls. Good luck. Nope. Wave at him, Clive. Wave. Yeah, subtitle say pups puppily. It came out today, Gold. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. We just started. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. Is that the same voice actor? Do the territories fare any better? As um, Lucas Gray from Hitman. Most lie under a pall of black. I only just put that together. Sounds like. In him. just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. Yeah, it's definitely him. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Uh, yeah, Every he's... day we delay Wait. brings us closer to... You missed his name. Hold on. It's Elwyn Rosfeld. Oh, Elwyn. So he's the one who found the pup and brought it back. He's the Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosari and Father Clive and Joshua. I, f I remembered that... Mi this is this feels like like some shit that should be in Mel Gisod 4. Mid cutscene, I can pause and pull up the, the fucking relationship map. Anyway... We must move now. ATL so clutch. It, it is useful. the Iron Kingdom. Also, Jeff, you should do this. It's a nice feature. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. Uh -huh. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blight. Yeah, you can engage with it as much as you want. 
So if you don't care, you can just mash through all the cutscenes and... The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. Phoenix. Ace you would have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Goblins? Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Where nothing bad will happen. As an RPG, if your first question is killing goblins. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? Goblins or boar pelts, one or the other. <clears throat> His chair's too big, bro. I will do my duty, Your Grace. Clive, don't say duty. It makes you sound silly. Now go. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. I hate that I love these character designs. They're 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 pretty solid so far. Ba -ba -da -bum, ba -ba -bum. I keep having to crank the volume during the conversations because they're really quiet. In fact, I want what? Oh, this is a pause screen. I wanted to check the audio options if it's set to like some wide dynamic range shit. And I'm like, compress that down a bit, please. I don't have a surround sound system. The attributes provides a comprehensive guide of Clive's current level stats, abilities, and gear. Great. Where's the system? Uh, oh, L2 and R2. I pressed R1 by default and it just kind of went no. You can see that. I'm like, can I go to another tab? And they're like, mm mm. I'm assuming that's like if you have different party members or something later on, but it's just like. Nuh-uh. Uh, gear and icons tabs used for equipping weapons and armor as well as assigning iconic abilities. I hate that it's iconic, like... Ugh, that's great. System tab, wireless controller configuration, video, audio, accessibility, language settings. What about audio? Aud audio. Audio. Is there... So there's no additional settings. Okay. It's- it feels like there's a dynamic range thing where the action stuff is at a good volume and the dialogue is, like, quiet, but... Yeah. Show me pigs and wedge! Love the wide dynamic range where you can even hear conversations and literally everything else is ear splittingly loud? Yeah. Can't- yeah. Like all modern movies? Yep. I have a pretty decent set of bookshelf speakers at home. That's my- my audio setup. Um... I don't have, like, a subwoofer. It's just two bookshelf speakers. And they sound great. But A, I don't want my neighbors to fucking bang on our wall. Uh, and B, I just generally like there being a relatively, like, flat dynamic range. Like, I like it being more narrow. So I don't feel like I have to babysit the remote and just bring it up and down. Like, movies is one thing, because there's, like, a whole trend in, in film audio editing that's a mess. But in games, it's all real time. It's all levers. And when they expose that to the player, it's a good thing. But it's like, I shouldn't have to be like, let me fix your balance. Because unless you have a ridiculously high quality audio system, this is going to suck. Just mute the dialogue. Just no fight the No messages, my lord. Yeah. What about, do you have any messages? No messages, my lord. You've got mail, my lord. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a bloom. I, you know what? I got to say. I like how blown the fuck out it is, and also how quickly it adjusts. They don't do the thing a lot- Wow, I'm more cringy sneaky! Wow. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, I hope you all enjoy them! I'll read those out to you in a- read those out in a moment, but, um... Yeah, a lot of games will just do like a- like a realistic, like it takes you time for your eyes to adjust, and it's like, nah, just fucking- just do it. My lord! He's really working on that hedge. Um, yeah. Thank you, Rikinis. I'm playing this today. Got a bonus day from work. Thought I'd share with everyone. That's very kind. Hope you enjoy this video game. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, Ahmed, thank you for six months. 
and a tier three. My good. It's your golden key. Thank you. And the golden gorgle to go with your golden key. Uh, Queered Cryptid, thanks for 13 months. Bees! Thank you. And Marking Snake for 10 gifted subs to Strongest Rogue, Corporal Pib, Arc Synthesizer, Metroid Man, Minato Kimura, Snow the Corgi Bear, Tokavian, Semi Stellify, Semi Stellify, Lyric, and Dirk's Kek. Welcome, welcome back and enjoy. Thank you, Jim Sack. Uh, Mish Topher Robin. Thanks for six months. I'm just not sure that this is truly the Final Fantasy. You know? You might be onto something. Here we go. Later that night, the king plans for war. The finalist fantasy. How long will you be away this time? Why is the thumbnail dumper? Don't worry about it. Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apodotry, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Pod what the hell with your way? The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. That sucks really bad, Akka, and Unlike thank you. Some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. <laughs> okay, Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Shit. Universal! Yeah, start. Shit! I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get to I would make a joke about all the, this fully clothed sexy time, but I'm I, the, 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 the partial nudity content descriptor is hanging above my head. Like a guillotine, and <laughs> just I'm just like mm. that red star next to the moon seems so important. Is it then? Time to prove yourself. It seems so deliberate a detail. Wishing on a star. Countdown to TOS. Yeah. I'm a little old for that. The I box full visually. Yeah. Right. That's meteor. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's the um, Final Fantasy XIV 1.0. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission, too. It... Father has given me my first command. The thing is, I don't want to pause. I, this, if I was playing on my own time, I would be doing this a lot more. But for the sake of stream, I'm not going to pause every five seconds to active time lore it up because this is this kills the pacing so hard. So we want you to. Well, shit, I will if I really feel like I need to, but I, I'm fine for now. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return. I shall just have to do it for you. Ready. J 
just this one stream. You got it, pretty dude. You have my word. There's going to be another war, isn't there? I'll only ruin the pacing if it's funny, chat. Come on. You know how I roll. Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. Right, we have a poll. Thank you, Chad. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? Thank you, Weeb. You're a shield of Rosaria, after all. And blessed by the Phoenix. Shiva, should bury her in the pacing. Three, this isn't a democracy? No. The answer is three. You got it, champ. Oh my god, good timing for Quetta to come back. I had a sixth right sense here. for it. You won't be hunting today. Ambrosia the Chocobo? My boy. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Is there lore on the Chocobo? I was joking, game. I was joking. Born in the stables of Rosalith Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by the young Clive to be his personal steed and raised by him from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any but he who would attempt to pet her. Great. <laughs> She's a good girl. Homegirl's a grump, yeah. Good luck. Pet the que. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us! They did make the shield of Ireland's flame forevermore! When they blew the horn, the controller rumbled. The parts. Open the gates! But like the PS5 rumble is like, you know, like HD rumble or whatever. So it just felt like a sustained like brrr, like it actually matched it. It's not just like old school rumble where it's like, ah, why? It was kinda weird. Ambrosia! Lord Rossfield, allow me. HD2. safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. That's my bird. Be careful. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you? This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. <laughs> is that you, Paul McCartney? So wait. Stop Sir it. Tyler, let us do our duty. Wade and Tyler. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. We're here to be your tutorial we party, my lord. Go with us. We're off to kill some goblins. Some goblins in the north. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, man, there you are. 
Displays all locations indicated by glowing pins currently available to Clive via fast travel. To Stillwind! There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted bows. Now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the deadlands to make the bogs their home. Let's go! Let's kill some fucking goblins! I'm itching the- my, my- my- my mashing the square button fingers getting itchy. The goblin noises are a lot. I'm excited. Fire emblem mess. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Let's get him. The leather straps on bare shoulders are stressing me out. <laughs> yeah. Timely accessories. Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes allows its wearer to chain complex attack combos only using Square. The Ring of Timely Focus slows time before an incoming attack, allowing for an extended evasion window. As with all items, timely accessories can be equipped and unequipped on the gear tab in the main menu. That's cool. Uh, uh, gear and icon, yeah. Oh, you can just use the D-pad. Oh, thank you, Square. Oh, that's nice. And, and listen, it, it's the correct way to do it because they give you the Final Fantasy pointer hand. That's how you know that's correct. Um, the Rosarian Oath. We got lore, all of our stuff. That's good. Yep. Oh, yep. Um... Uh, time slows before an ev ev evadable enemy attack strikes Clive. No effect when equipped with the Ring of Timely Evasion. Uh, when equipped, Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by pressing square. When equipped, Clive will automatically use a potion when his HP falls below a certain point. Potions will be used before high potions. Of all of these, this is the one I need the most because I'll not look at my health and be like, oh, guess I died. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. But who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Look, the, the fairies are fucking. My lord, look! No! We scare them off. Bad luck, that. <sighs> they don't affect trophies either? That's excellent. Love that shit. Especially if you hit, like, a difficulty spike. ATL quick. Uh, goblins? Talking about goblins. A common species of beast man. While at first glance, they may seem like mindless predators, goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary tools and weapons. While mostly found on the incontinence of storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find homes nearby human settlements. A move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. They are fornicating, my lord. They weak to fire. Good thing I only know fire magic. Oh, I do like their noises. They're just going. <gasps> Not Paul McCartney. With me. Use triangle after striking a poem with square to conjure a magic explosion that deals significant will damage. Hello. <laughs> Got him. Goblins. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Oh, they don't ragdoll like from soft enemies. Eh. The faces are terrifying. The faces are great. What do you mean? Zero ten garbage game. Uh. Yeah. 
Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. All right. Careful about There's what? More. Yeah, their noises are very good. Some enemies drop gill or items upon their defeats. Loot is gathered automatically by approaching the glittering icons. I love that the loot is automatic so much. Who wants to tussle? Ow. He stabbed me, my lord. With the pointy end. He's got that one. Oh, they both got him. Nice. They're not useless in combat. Bro, no. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, we're killing Gollum. He deserves it. Potion. Potion, seller. I have a stone skin tonic? Cool. You saw a guy's kill. Good. I'm here to prove myself, remember? Eee. <laughs> Felt like kind of a weak kick considering how much he charged it. It's like when you charge your moves in real life and you're like, yeah, that was that was embarrassing. Uh goblins? Any goblins? <laughs> Hello. Hey, you break your toe. Yeah. Why this game explicitly tell you they're intelligent, often misunderstood before you kill a bunch? I feel bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's my bad for reading the lore. Now now I know to feel sad. Instead of just being like, yeah, let's kill some goblins. It's like, no, they're... They're smart. Hmm. Yeah. Plunging attack. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands for here. Yeah. Nope. I like the off-screen indicator. Eh, eh. No enemies approach, my lord. Nope. Yep. Yeah, yeah. My early impressions of the combat are actually pretty positive. The one thing I do want to see if I can change is the rotation speed of the camera. It's pretty slow when you're trying to target new enemies. Unless there is a lock on that I'm missing. So far, right stick just centers the camera behind him. What's lock more stuff? Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, it seems like this is the basic, the basic stuff they then build on top of. Lock on Zell 1. It said L1, and I missed it. Thanks, chat. Imagine reading the prompts when they tell you. Insufficient inventory space. Potion used. How tiny are my pockets? Excuse you. Item step contains lists of all non-gear items currently in class possession, including those used in quests. Because two items such potions can be used. Can't be used anytime from this tab. Items can also be assigned to shortcuts for quick access during gameplay. Select an item from a consumables list. Press square to bring up the shortcut window. Confirm the button and X to confirm. All right. Uh. Oh. How many balls can you fit in your pockets? Like three. Shield Ensign, a brazen seal received by all ducal, ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and the shield of the firebirds flames forevermore. Duckel shield oath. I love a duckel. Um, I guess I can all, I cannot store a lot of these. Okay, well. Kind of dumbed down Kingdom Hearts if that's possible. The thing that I've always disliked about Kingdom Hearts combat is the menuing. Because I'm bad at Kingdom Hearts combat in the first place. And so I have to look in the bottom left corner and then, like, take my thumb off the stick and then use the D-pad to menu around and stuff. And you can't assign some shortcuts, and I, I do that, but it always feels awkward to me. Whereas a simplified version... It's arguably simplified, where it's like, you have things directly mapped to buttons, and that's what you do. Like, I, I, I want it to be either menu-based, either, like, ATB or pure turn-based, or be more like this. Like, I, I prefer this to the Kingdom Hearts style, personally. So we'll see. But, um... Where to? That way, my lord. Yeah, I like 7R. 7R did have a good... And, and 7R lets you use, like, party members' abilities and stuff without overcomplicating things, which is kind of impressive. We should be nearing the old village square. It's not as strategically it not complex a as a turn-based game, but it 
you can't expect a real-time game to be strategic in the same way. And there are still turn-based RPGs being made. It's not like they've gone out of favor. Just something else. Comments the guy behind the new DMC. Oh, shit. <sighs> Side of Azra's wrath. Yeah, I like it too. God, these noises are good. Sneaky sods. We're trapped. Buckle Hello. up, Paul. Buckle up, George. I'm working on it. Old DMC. Old new DMC. He's the leader. You know him well. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Bigs and Wedge. Yep, yeah, ba 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 Uh, you there. Get over there. Got him. Yeah, Phoenix Wright shocks him. Yeah. Hello. Uh. Shit! He's invited a friend! Uh. On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes. Hmm. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and often use devastating abilities to roam opponents. Use the blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage, also break their wills. Break an enemy's will to stagger it, leaving it unable to act and vulnerable to attacks. Yes. Founder, that's a swing and a half. Be ready to move when it winds up for another. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Oop, press the wrong button. Yeah. I pressed. I keep wanting to press circle to dodge. I really need to unlearn that. Yep. Enemies will become partially staggered when the wall gauge reduced to 50%, creating a short opening which combo attacks can be easily landed. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, has a big swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Completely reducing enemies' will gauge will stagger. And extra damage is dealt when they're fully staggered, increasing with each strike landed up to a max of 150%. The total damage dealt during this time is displayed upon the enemy regaining its senses. So you build up and then it shows up. Yeah. I can't use that yet. Boy, he recharges that pretty quick. No, I'm good. Whoa, okay. Whoa, shit. He's spinning. Use square just as opposed to that. You can parry. Oh, fuck. Square just as an opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporarily slowing time and leaving the opponent open to a counter. Oh no. I accidentally parried. So it is like a revengeance style parry where you attack into their attack. To parry it. Get his ass! Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Big swing! Big swing! Uh. Oh, wait. I'm trying to attack into it to parry it. But I guess if you've been hit, you can. Oh. 
I cut out his AirPods. Okay. That was kind of a jarring end of the fight, but... Level up. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everything went up. Let's go. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance. This was Devil May Cry, wasn't it? It may include items, gear, ability points, and experience points. Hard leather omelets. Though at first glance, this modest wrist piece might appear at his uncomfortable fit for those cursed with fleshy forearms. Upon further inspection, one would be relieved to discover the band incomplete, affording its wearer a modicum of comfort, be he swine or starveling. Nice. You coward! After him, before he summons the rest. You seem a bit bloodthirsty today, Paul. What do you know, Ringo? R gear can significantly improve player attributes only when equipped via gear tab. The right abilities can turn the title battle only learned and mastered via the abilities tab. Mastering existing abilities as well as learning new ones requires ability points, which are earned in Valor by completing quests. Okay. So, gear. Put on that. Yes. Abilities. Oh, no. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you're unsatisfied with this current build, reset all abilities and try again. There's no penalty for doing so. Always like that. Details of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. Uh, sword indicates dealing damage, and a little magical swirly indicates capacity for breaking will. I see. Oh, man. Is this a sphere grid? Let's go. Let's sphere, sphere it up. Rising Flames uh, upgrade compared... Oh, it's already been learned, but I can upgrade it? What does the upgrade do? Details? It's... Oh, okay. Phoenix Shift. Master. What? How do I know what mastering or um, upgrading would do to it? Hmm. Details tells you? It's in details? The mastering. Increase shift distance. Okay. Gotcha. Upgrade increases hits. Thank you. I just completely glossed over that. Uh, this is all this. So these are ones I already know, and I can increase them or master them or whatever. These ones I don't know yet. Hold triangle to increase the potency of a magic spell released to cast. Use X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy. That's silly as hell. I like that. How many? I have 152. I can learn a bunch of these. Use R1 to recover immediately after being knocked back or taken down by an enemy. Uh, yeah, it's cheap. Let's just grab that. Uh, use R2 plus touchpad to pull the attention of an enemy target. Oh, that is strange. Taunt. Okay. Uh, burning blade. Hold square to imbue his blade with fire. Release to unleash a powerful attack. X plus square while in the air to slice down. Oh, so you can do some air combos and then and then slam him down. Uh, X plus square to simply close and attack a distant enemy. Yes. Yes, please. Slice down. Sure. For deeper lore, you increase the lore. Hold the imbue with fire. Yeah, that's neat. Um, I don't know about that yet. Kick off nearby enemy sounds hilarious. Yes, please. Increase potency of magic. Done. And I probably don't have points for anything else. Cool. That's kind of fun how that works. You can unlock most of the new things. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Let's see if I remember any of those new things I just unlocked. The answer will be no. There he is. Get his ass! Get back here! Damn it! Eh. It looked like he was like, darn! Come on. Merry Christmas, Goblin. This ends now. Basic abilities are cheap. Yeah, it incentivizes you to, to kind of widen your possibilities before you specialize. What's in that? Hello. Keep 
clear of its maw, my lord. That thing's breath is worse yes. than its bite. No. Stand clear of its ma, he says, standing in front of its ma. Amount of will damage. Watch out for its mom. Son! Yeah! Yeah, it's late after dark! Yeah, get him! Get him! Wait! No, 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 no. Thanks for the dollar. Well, and the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment. Is it flashing blue? Oh, okay. There. It pauses. Press square before time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. Oh boy, QTEs in my Final Fantasy. Get him! Yeah! Gross. Before it recovers! Oh, I don't like- Oh, yeah. I was like, that's a different attack, isn't it? Woo! That was pure skill. Whoa! Knocked him out of that move. No, he's goopy. Cinematic evasion. When the screen flashes red during a pivotal moment, press R1 to evade the incoming attack. Oh, I'm sure I won't fuck that up. Fail it. Okay. What? Huh? Hey, Squeenix. I mean, I get that it's the tutorial, but... <laughs> but you must. All right. Yeah, I did! <laughs> now for the final push, my lord! Yeah, yeah! Get him, get him, get him! Yeah. 
Failure is not an option. But actually, no. Yeah. Whoa. Nice moves. I think we've made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. That's very good. That's very good writing. Okay. Sorry. I just needed a second. Yeah, get him. Oh, shit. Get him. Fucking got him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I really don't know how I feel about the final blow being like a high pitch, like bing. Like it, every part of that presentation feels great except for the audio. Right in that moment, thank you. That was a fun fight. It was cool. Um, but well, that's great. Very Kingdom Hearts, I guess so. But Kingdom Hearts would be like, whoosh, whoosh, like what? Like that's that's Kingdom Hearts. This is like a bing. Like. It doesn't feel very impactful in any way, but maybe I'll get used to it. It's different, and different's not always bad. Is that goblet? Yeah. What do you think, Paul? I think we got him. My lord. Thanks. Well done, Pete Best, the fifth and best member of the Beatles. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. Anamanapia. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. They finally realized if I was over to mine it. Be at our gates before long. I'm sure I'll get used to it. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. I saw that music stuck in my head from the fight. It was really a good theme. Sounds like he sounds like Darren Corp. Yeah, I hear it. Don't ask my date. I feel like no one's gonna believe us that we killed a marble, but we did it. To the north. Phoenix Gate. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties, but also serves as sacred ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. We go. Sorry, stomach head. Yeah. No, it's really good. Sometime later! <laughs> I love vague senses of time. Not that evening or like three days later. It's just that Suddenly, later. Thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down our mama's gullet. More tails. He actually has an ale mustache. You don't see that in your game very often. 
Yeah, you like see like dribbling out of their mouths. That's that's impressive. Lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. The narrator got bored. Yeah. Dribble tech coming to be Yakuza Seven bread tech. We're not. We haven't seen bread tech yet, but there's some food. The food in FF15 was astonishingly well rendered. It was rarely interactive. It was all like you know, like a static plate put down, but illegally good food. The different meals were one of the best parts of 15. I've come up with a new recipe. Are you unwell? No, father. Just a little tired. The bare arms, yeah. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hmm, I. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father, why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Joshua just meant that in the context of, like, leaving that meal, but... But also, oof. <gasps> pup! Don't think about that thing, a pup! She'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. Those weren't sea shanties. We're on land! So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. It's a child they believe here from the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do. Also, the sister from Blake Town. Oh, 
Tiny fists. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the Dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I don't want to lead. I just want to I play was born Fortnite. To be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Oh, nice project. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <laughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgal. Torgal's the best character so far. I know. I have the consumption, Professor. Yeah. Who goes there? Is there a guy named Dive Clive? Supplies from the capital. You take your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> Is the supplies betrayal? <laughs> Here's the betrayal you ordered from the capital. Full of enterprising traders, keen to keep us in wine. Spare barrel for the boys on duty. What in the? Some good supplies. Wait, I didn't know any betray. Ah! Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Well then. Seems the wall came to us. It's a good thing everyone in the castle is drunk. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. Oh boy, Victorian child simulator. Fly of the Fledgling. Half the castle. It's me, Paul. Oh shit. Nice. 
We got a little, little flame. Are the enemy already inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Do you like my new moves, Paul? They're very impressive, my lord. Thank you, Paul. You wouldn't betray me, would you, Paul? Don't know the meaning of the word, Professor. I mean your highness, I mean your lordship. Pretty good way to signal who you are to the enemy. I mean, you are the finely dressed Victorian child. I don't know if a ball of light's gonna change matters. Let me go first. <laughs> Fire. Fall back, your highness! He's not one of us! Magic, Kiraga, jump of eight. Magic! Oh shit! Oh my god! Damn! You zap him! Yo, he's got moves! He has Kiraga ready, still dying of a cough. You can't cast Kiraga on yourself. I mean, you can, but. Maybe someone told him you can't as a joke. I saw them at the feast. They were laughing. This is Sam Braqua. Why would the Empire? Sam Braqua? What's that mean? The Holy Empire of Sam Braqua. Sam Braque? A nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of the storm with the great city of Oriflamme as its capital. Sam Braque is the realm's largest theocracy and home to the Mother Crystal Drake's head. They did mention something about a uh, crusade earlier. I wonder if they were involved. Under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of San Brique enjoy a life of plenty thanks to the crystal's blessing, which they believe to be a gift from the goddess Gregor herself. Gr Gregor. We must find my father. Oh boy! Holy war! Tingle takes the Holy Land is real. Yep. Hello. Eh. 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 Fireball. Eh. Eh. Attack. Oh shit. Get him. We'll make a great team. Pick up the mace. The cudgel. There are allies. Maybe it's not the Empire, but they're trying to make it seem like the Empire to sow division within powerful allies. Hmm. Everyone needs a Wade. Hmm. Hello. I am the dominant. Yeah. It's a theocracy. It's definitely the Empire. How do we know it's a theocracy? Oh no! Tyler! You just read that. No, I mean, I His know that. Deep. I know Save that the, the Holy Empire is a theocracy. I'm saying, how do we know that this. this warring party is from. Your Highness, the Holy Empire? Going to be all right. I'll hold them off. I know they're wearing their, but my point is that they could be pretending to be them by wearing their armor and their colors. Just because Joshua's like, why would they be fighting us? It could be them. Oh, what's up? That wouldn't be very holy of them. But it, it might not. <laughs> Never mind. Come here. I was, yeah, I say it could be a setup. Whatever. It seems like this game's Tyler, got some political Tyler. intrigue going on, so Sorry. I'm weighing the options of possibility. Thanks to His Highness, I'm gonna shut up now. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. Hmm. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate.
Ba -ba. That was gonna land down. Yeah, same. It looked like that was, was looks like it looked like that's how it was framed. Bird. I'll oh, send a raven. I mean an owl. Lost, Alan, to May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Yeah, where's now Torgal? Go. Is Torgal safe? <laughs> I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Dickering toward on the puppy patch. Yeah. We're gonna enter a room and Torgal's just standing on top of a pile of bodies. Friend and foe. Torgal doesn't care. And that's the last time I ever saw Joshua. The end. Right. Let's go through these rooms we just went through. Uh... Wait. Who who goes there? I parried that. Okay, cool. Can't say I meant to. We're too late. Everyone's dead. Where to? This way. Wizard. Take them. In a fight, right? Let none escape. As you command. Joe's thought that I feel right. Choose a member of. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. <laughs> yeah. Just a hostage. Yeah, you know. Well, there goes the combat music. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Bro. <laughs> hey, look out! Bro. Okay. May He's a I dragoon. Dance. Knight of the Blinding God. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you. Bam. Bam. Shit. There we go. Stay the bits! Stay still, damn you! 
Fire, fire, yeah. Get him. Jump off his head. The disrespect. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to jump on him. <laughs> disrespect kill. This is extra will damage. I like the combat. I'm excited to get more tools, but the ones I have are fun to play with. I footstooled him. I fucking meteor smashed him. Are you hurt? I'm fine. I might have pooped a little. So, they sent in the dragoons. Imperial vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? It does seem likely it is the actual holy empire. Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. Mm hmm My lord. I'm only doing the one stream, but it's going to be a 80 hours. stream. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Ambrosia! Well, you good? What is that? Those plot ghosts from Final Fantasy VII Remake, was it? Hope not. Oh, it was Ansem with his time travel potion. That makes sense. Oh, all right. <gasps> Torgo's fine! Thank goodness! Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? Father? I'm 
I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. No! You, you are the snakes. Stay back! I'm warning you. Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. Dark, yeah. Get him, Paul. You must do your duty, too. I have to keep Father safe. I have to. I had to. Not everyone there was an enemy, but... The Phoenix! Joshua! Lord Murdoch! His Highness! Ah! Joshua! Stop this! He's lost control! I have to do something! I have to save him! No, my lord! Is Torgal okay? Not Ambrosia! This game sucks. If Torgal's hurt, I swear to god. Thank you, God. You saved my life. Ambrosia got goofied. So she'll be fine. Run, Fitton, run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on. You're his shield. Do your duty. My lord? Now we're back to the start of the game. Okay, that's cool. So we're playing as the Phoenix. The Fallen Commands are available when playing as the Phoenix. Fire. 
aim, evade. When your opponent is directly on your side, the target circle will expand. That's the time to fire. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 boom. Fireball, fireball. Get him. Get him, Joshua. like a blurry fireworks show. Pretty much. Damnation in...
Yo, Romney Bone, you say? Scratch Home says they're probably going to catch bring the hardware they need. Uh, apparently, for a while, they were planning on releasing this on the PS4. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe if the game rendered it like 480p. Hey, thanks. I like the ding. I still have, I'm like 50 50 on it still. I like the abrupt cut. I just, I don't know. Well, that man has been smooshed. And <laughs> the thing's kind of funny. Hi, Spans. Thanks for the bits. These are Torgal escaping noises. Torgal? No! Stop it! Take your hands off my brother! Help me! Help me, Clive! Joshua! Stop it! Stop it! I swore I would protect him! Please! Please! Stop it! Okay, though, right? I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill you! I was expecting a trophy to pop up. Ooh. Great. It's a bit much in it. I, I think it's a good amount. It is a lot, though. This is where the de That's where the demo ends? That's where the... Are you, you, no. Like right there? Well, after this. This scene is the, uh, the holy fuck. Quite a mess that monster made. No wonder people like the demo, Man, Jesus. Shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. That is a very brutal way to My space a demo. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Hey, thanks. Welcome. Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. You okay. I see. Your Grace, over here. It was the fruit gushers. Joshua just shared his. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. 
All in its right place. Take this one. Why? I understood that she was evil from the conversation. That just seems Cheer unnecessary. Up, You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. Knew too much. <laughs> and that's the key art. It, oh, man. Oh, that does hit different. Hmm. Thank you for playing the Final Fantasy 16 demo. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, shit. Now the game starts. Cool. 13 years later. Shit sucks, dude. Year of the Realm 873. The Nice of the Dalmechian Republic. So now we're basically a soldier slave in the Imperial Army. That's our starting point Welcome here. Back. Is that is that what I'm to understand? What's our situation? Okay, cool. All right, that's... let's just say Shiva and Titans, little spat. That's pretty good context. That prologue. Easier. That's pretty good. Shiva. That's the face. Yeah, they established the face tattoos, but you know now now we get now we get it. And it's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Yeah, the audio direction is on point. My only issues is with- oh, there's the trophy. My only issues is with the audio balance, I think it's just... It's- it's just- there's some parts where just the, the, the dialogue's a little quiet and the action's been loud, but you know. The iconic ability is Scarlet, Cyclone, and Heatwave for the Phoenix? Are now available for acquisition upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities can be equipped. Must be equipped on the gear and icons tab. How do they expect um. us to kill something that can do this? They. They. Um. Yeah, so. So that's with these. Uh, okay. So Phoenix Shift. Oh, you can potentially swap that out. Huh. And then F Rising Flames. Scarlet Cyclone is one that's new. Spin. A big spin. I got ability points. Sure, let's learn how to taunt. That's good. Um, so I can learn Heat Wave. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shockwaves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. I don't know what those words mean, but it sounds cool. Um, that is very expensive. Everything else is like a couple hundred points, and this one is 1695 points. That's a lot. Summon a massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring HP. Whoa. They explain exactly in ATL, but I don't know if I saw it. Explain what in ATL. Wait, I didn't mean... No, that's different. You have to do it in... Him. So why now? Why then? For a little act now. A slave soldier for the Holy Empire of San Brique, now in his 13th year of servitude. Though drafted as a frontline infantryman, the magical might granted him by the blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squadron of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known, Wyvern. Their latest mission, the descendants of the Knights of the File, where bloody ra battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Dalmechia, and take the head of Shiva's dominant. Shiva. The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemy's blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nice of the Vile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. Titan, the Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka... Kupo? ...is a current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of the Dalmechian deserts, the recipient of his strength being granted power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. I see. Their group is called the Bastards? 
A unit of Imperial Army assassins tasked with taking the head of the Iron Kingdom's dominant, Warden of Ice and Vessel for the Icon Shiva. All of its members, including its leader, Tiamat, are bearers, branded men pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. So everyone that's branded knows magic, or just they do because they're branded soldier? Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslaved them, able to cast powerful magics, so entirely disposable, often placed on the front lines in battle or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. Okay, yeah. Are they inglorious? A deep arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmecan Republic during the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865 was the site of repeated skirmishes. I'm going to make incursions to the Viking. Okay. Girl yeah. Holding its leash. yeah, okay. So if they have the brain. Okay, so that guy holding the box of apples new magics. Oh, I see. It's amazing how they managed to set up all the stakes and it didn't require uh, an entirely separate CG movie like Final Fantasy XV and then set up a bunch of context that ended up not mattering at all. Whereas this game set up context that seems to be what the current status of the world is and will come into play later. Be hell finding a it's way kind out. of uncanny. It's it, it's weird. It feels weird. This way, the shortest. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it should be in a sheath, <laughs> right? Seems very ripe for mishaps, but yeah, this look good. Riding, fifteen. Wyvern becoming uncanny. Done in before. Don't get poked. Yep. The sound of the ice crackling is so good. That's excellent. Wow. That's really cool. By the flames. You see, Final Fantasy XV was the first Final Fantasy I played that much of. And everyone I was talking to was, like, confused that I was expecting a grand interconnected story that evolved over time. They're like, what? That's not Final Fantasy. I was like, that's literally what I thought Final Fantasy was. You posted a cat pic. I'm sorry. Creative unit biz business unit three. Where's your cat? Oh, you need a permit. I see. Sorry, I missed it. There you go. It's what it used to be. Well, it's like the the, the older Final Fantasies, and it seems like they kind of didn't for a while. It's refreshing. It used to be what Final Fantasy was when it is, and then it became that. Um, he's very sleepy. Show me a sleepy kitty. Behold. A sleeping cat. While you look upon him, may I, uh, Universe Fireworks gifted a sub to Aka N for the 27th month. No Arcanio with 34 months. Boy, howdy, can't play this game because I don't got some PS5, but I'm super hyped for it. Hope you have a good time with this. Thank you. Flutter Ninja sucks, thanks for 46 months. You think that as one of the people who suggested Ace Attorney, I would have watched those VODs by now instead of being incredibly behind. Hope you're enjoying 16. Hey, no worries. VODs aren't going anywhere. And, um, they're long VODs, so, you know, take your time. The Void is EP. The void is EP and needs a uh, schlep. Griff H, thanks for the soup. This is not a drill. My work stocked famous Amos in the kitchen. Going to get some hot water. Please report back with your findings. If we don't hear from you, we'll assume you perished in the ensuing kerfuffle. Just a little sneeping time as a treat. Delete the VODs as a joke. Just as a lamau. Just as a, as a guffaw. Uh, Big Cave Monster, thanks for 69 bits. Make that Dragoon tank the ground. I did. MD Major, thanks for 58 months. Charmango, thank you for 10 bits. Hey, chat, if you don't want to get majorly spoiled, do not look up the voice actors for this game. Understood. That does make me want to check it more, you realize, but understood. Yeah, spoilers. Spans, thanks for 11 months. Who's Barry? Mm. Let me know if you know. Kylax, thanks for 17 months. Quick hello, hi, hello for me. As I try to catch up on the Ace Attorney VODs, sent in my first game recommendation with the game AI, The Somnium Files. Was wondering if your chat has heard of it. Leighton and Phoenix Wright makes me think you'd enjoy it too. Hope you've been enjoying your time with the absurdity that is FF16. Thank you, Kylex. I don't know anything about, about it, but I have heard about uh, The Somnium Files. I think other people have recommended it as well. I just have yet to look into it myself. Thank you. Appreciate it. Spam, thanks for the 69 bits. Hey, what's up? Thank you for the very nicely timed bits. <laughs> uh, Cave, thanks for 69 bits. Is Torgal okay? Is he okay? I need to look up in the game where Torgal is now. Universal Fireworks, thanks for 100 bits. I have no clue what's going on, but it seems intense. Pretty much. Spans, thanks for 100 bits. I just tuned in and, uh, the fuck? Don't worry about it. Simple Jim, thanks for 100 bits. They dropped the F-bomb in my JRPG. Yeah, uh, uh, F, F-bomb Gongaga. Salty Tat, thanks for 14 months. Hab, sub, for being self. Well, 
That's what I know how to do, and I will continue to do it. Thank you. There's been a lot of F-bombs, and... Ah, oh, shit! And then smoosh. It's made my, my favorite swear so far. Me fuck Gaga. <laughs> Listen, they have an M ranking, so they're, they're taking advantage of it. Whoa. Okay, Chris, stop rising. People have suggested it. I did pick it up off the eShop before it shut down. But um, I am worried my hands will explode if I try to play it. So we'll see. The journal tab contains information on many uh, main story progress, as well as all current and completed side quests. A chance encounter. Pursue the retreating army. Made a map. So where are we? We're there. Do I, oh, so this is where we were before. We're not that... I'd say we're not that far, but maybe this is like an entire continent's span. But I do like the look of this map. All Final Fantasy has actually been epic. They just played certain stereotypes. The meme scene antennas of Titus laughing actually competent. The context is even the darkest moment. You should try to laugh. I think it's the forced laughter. Everyone knows which is cringe making me, you know, actually break down actual laughter. I agree, Skolnikov. Yes, I, 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 I am familiar with the context. It is a meme and it is funny. But yes, within the context, it's it's meant to be stilted. I would, it, you can still argue it's maybe not the best delivery of stilted forced laughter, even though that's exactly what it is. Because you you should be laughing with them, if anything, instead of laughing at them. Look at them crystals. But. But yeah, it is, it is a heartwarming scene. There are a lot of moments in 10 that I that I played that I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then, I, as I mentioned, I rented it, returned it, never finished it, and then many years later was like, let me look up a plot summary. And that game goes places I did not expect. <laughs> no spoilers, of course, but I was like, I did not think that that's where 10 was going to go. Uh, it is a strange time. That scene's not the one you use. Th th yeah, you, there, there's better examples, probably. Seymour- Seymour's design is just, uh, yeah. He just- this is not time. Cat is now sleeping on my lap. My legs are falling asleep, send help. R.I.P. Can I get some Fs in the chat for Apricot? Gone too soon. Oh, that is not where I thought we were gonna go. Thank you, R.I.P. Did you hear that? Down there. Sure is Nomura. Yep. So... Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. I love um Wait. Oh boy. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodoxy is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations. Born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shrinkscott! Adiar in here, Sagarid! Please. What alvation now, Kim? Alan Scully asked. <laughs> Let's fight. Get Aegis. it. Care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Ow. Wyvern, you focus on the target. Understood. So she's she was dumb. I should have seen that coming. They probably told me that, and I didn't realize. Oh. Yeah. This time. Damn it. Nope. Thanks, says the king. 
too slow. Quap. Ow, ow. Madam. Come Translucent part of my health bar is. Is it just for looking cool? <laughs> What's all this then? Hi, Weep. How you doing? We're fighting a childhood friend, as you do, because wartime. Oh no, not Wasaga. Oh god. Too slow. Too slow. You're too slow. I will not have their blood on my hands. Fully transparent can't be able to transition can. Oh. So you lose the maximum you can heal? Stop it. You have no health yet. Stop it. Yeah. At last. Yay. Ba 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 killed your friend. If you avoid healing, you can BT only with items. Hmm. Shift defeated. Oh, RIP Shift. Sorry about that. Uh, I did really quickly want to share because uh, we're talking about uh, FF10. My favorite bit of um, Titus's character design is is uh, he has he has those like like he has shorts that you can unzip to turn into shorter shorts, and he's removed one of his shorts, so he's wearing long shorts on his right leg and then shorter shorts on his left leg. It's is. My favorite part of his character design. I had the shorts things exactly. I had pants you could unzip into shorts, and I never thought to do one leg long and the other leg short. I wasn't as clever as, as Titus was. So, yeah, he's got one 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 knee gets warmer than the others, so he has to unzip that. Those laughing shoulders—they're good for laughing. Yeah, that's fashionable. It's pronounced Titus. I've always said Titus. Titus works, I guess. Citizen Kane, thanks for two months. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Wait. Is asymmetry is mirrored. Yeah. Titus Andronicus. Yeah. Titus Andronicus is a fucked up play. It is fu I don't know what Shakespeare was on when he wrote it. Billy Shakes was out of his gourd. It's pretty good. It's fucked up. <laughs> is she dead? I don't think so. Well... It's tied. What are you waiting for?
Thank you, Weeb. Yeah, what well, Weeb said. No, not... Not you. Not here. So that, that's, uh, that's, uh, Jill Warwick, born a princess of Northern Territory. <laughs> I fucking hate- Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after a homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. When she waved the brothers farewell on the day they departed for Phoenix Gate, little did she know of the misfortune that awaited both them and her. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Fuck. Hello. We've got company, Wyvern. Oh man, so he, he's like fire and she's like you ice. Doing? You know, they're like opposites. <laughs> Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. Ooh. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Black things. I know her. Know her. Hey, Look man, around man. you. Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here. Stay down. Mm. That's aggressive. Hey. Shot. <laughs> now that that's done. The anime stab noise is so good. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. No. I I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Oh yeah, let's go! And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at me go. Not this time. Fuck you, buddy. Well, Why don't like that. Have you I'm getting him. Who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still yes. clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. <sighs> Well, don't like that. Get him, get him, get him. Jump on him. Yeah. Yeah, get him. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. Goomba. The disrespect. We 
break your head. I am getting cocky, <laughs> which will be my dumb. Wahoo! I can snatch the feet from the jaws of victory. That's my job. Nice, nice, good. Yeah, great, excellent, good. Why, why right? To most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more. For the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear, favored by warriors across the realm. Used in crafting. Meteorite, just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from the celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war, or so it is believed. We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. See you later, bro. Fucked up, Clive. Thanks for the hydrate plush, man. They call him the Cliverin. Sid. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. That's this game, Sid. Sid's hot. <laughs> Love his voice. Fuck. Fuck. Hottest Sid. I mean, I don't know. Have you seen FF7, Sid? Bubbo. Ugh. Don't say Sid, Daddy. It is hot in every game, you fools. Oh shit, what are you doing here? Hugo dear, my proud. I mean we did see her at the meeting me. earlier. I guess it's fair. We thought you had taken care when chasing the hair. I expected more from the mighty Titan. I love when our evil villains like on stand on a cliff's edge and no monologue. Doubt. So that is a different character than Clive's but mom. Have to work harder right? If you're to claim this prize. Yes. Got it. My lady. Leader of the Varia from the first. Seriously, we'll be too. Hearing more soon enough. It's been 13 years, true. <laughs> Trying to sell white people like the same no. makes it. Gather the men. We have work to do. I don't know, just evil blonde Karen. I just, uh, you know, they kind of blend together a little bit. I listen. They don't, they don't, they don't deserve my attention to memorize every detail. Okay, all right. Some Sids are crotchety old dudes, Joe. and they're the hottest of all. Is it really you? 
They had to put two of them in the same thing. <laughs> and who's this fine hound I see before me? Is that not Torgal? A fine hound who saved your life. That's who. It is. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. Is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. How do you know that name? Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. I want this voice actor to read audiobooks. I would listen to him read the phone book. If the phone book still existed. Still might be best to get a second opinion. It's a good voice. Back her up. I want to say my name once. <laughs> Not another step. I mean it. We do have dictionaries, that's true. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. Oh, I'm to read Good Night Moon. Hey, Brooke. Mm -hmm. Read recipes. Preheat oven at 350 degrees. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> okay, I like him. Whoever Explain it is. everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Butter the noodles generously. <laughs> Nervous Welsh guy. This is a good character. It's very good. I feel like in a lot of games, or just media in general, narrative stories, when there's like a big prologue where it's like, okay, you start in media res where things are exciting and go, well, let's take a step back. It's really wishy-washy on whether or not it works for me. I feel like it needs to properly set things up and not just for exposition's sake, you know? Because if you can explain to me the state of the world by showing me the world, that's more interesting than being like, let's go back 15 years and talk about how we got here. It's like, eh. I often don't need to see that. Um, I actually feel like this prologue was pretty decent. It was, it was pretty well paced for the most part, but I think more importantly, it actually did a pretty good job setting up a lot of the larger stakes was despite being a pretty tight contained story it did actually give you a fair amount of context without having to go into the fucking lore book so also the enjoy yeah there's some very good moments there too we're in a low point in the action you can feel excited to see what happens next yeah that too i think um anyway let's go to the hideaway the withered remains of a once verdant valley long consumed by the blight one would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Demo, not emo. Yeah, you know. Current time's unsaturated. Probably saturated. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that. Central Storm. The Ralph Innocent, he's been in stuff. I wonder if I've heard him before. He's great. Not much further now. Could be the 3D audio. Is that but a we're thing? In the middle of the Deadlands. I didn't see any audio Deny settings. Ah, you. The blight sucked this place dry, meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means yeah, no I don't, neighbors. I don't have the 3D audio on in the settings. No I know this place. Anyone would think to look. I can check. Home sweet home. Mm. 
dork. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> oh my mm, dork got me. But it did. I love dork. Witcher. Is he the Witcher? He might be. He's the father in the the Veach? I never saw the Veach. I know of it though. Oh yeah. The hideaway, Central Storm. My son's also named Dort. <gasps> Moogle! I saw him. I saw him. This Get back here. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. Goots! I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. His name is fucking Goots? I don't care about that. His name is Goots? FF16 Goots Real.jpg? No. Surely it's just coincidence. Fuck. He's a big boy. Yeah, just like Goots. I'll never forget his name. Pressing the touchpad opens a detailed map of the current area, main scenario destinations, and marked with a thing. Shop the woman on Goots' back. Madam? How you. Oh. <laughs> that was like the most realistic NPC interaction I've ever had in a video game. That was a hard, cold shoulder. <laughs> it was like. Mm, anything you're about. Thanks, Weeb. Take care now. You're still hungry, are you? What? Might have some around yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, don't oh. like a cola. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. Jumpkin. Oh. Those are some loud steps for a little guy. Oh, sorry. Does this game have a photo mode? Um. 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 Uh, uh, um. Borb. Uh. I missed it? What did I miss? It does? Taste the Moogle. I will. I will, shortly. Attributes menu. It's under attributes? Why would it be? Photo mode. Whoa. Unable to get the right angle or lighting on your screenshots, use photo mode to craft tailor-made images to dazzle your friends and followers. This one's for the fans on social media. Um. I just wanna... Oh, come on, don't do that. I just, I wanna... Show me the bird. Well, oh, ooh. You know? And, um... Yeah. Can I... Um... How... When, um... Huh? Huh? Do I have depth of field? Are there more options? Is that it? I can't adjust the brightness or anything? Did I do I did I miss something? Roll field view Clive. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There he is. The tertragonist of the story. Bird. Chonkin. Oh, he's a ghost. What do you think about that, Clive? Are you looking at the bird, Clive? Buddy? Clive? Bud? You wanna... Clive? Buddy? Oh. What's up? Ugh. Okay. This option's kind of, It's kind of, um, the bare minimum, but... At least there is a photo mode. That's cool. It is a very pretty game. 
Uh, where did that Moogle go? Shit. Uh, wait, I did want to see if I could increase the speed of the camera. No, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, camera sensitivity horizontal. Yeah, it's like almost at the minimum. I'm trying to like smidge. Vertical seems fine. Oh, that is maybe even too fast. Yeah, hold on. Dial it back a smidge. That is very aggressive. Maybe just one more. Maybe just one more. Uh, no, one more. One more. Four. There we go. So I can retarget in battle, but it's not a whip pan every time I move the stick. That Martian Blue Girl said, it's f I, I like. I don't dis. Hello? I'm hearing noises. Oh. That's why I was hearing noises. Uh, I don't dislike motion blur. It depends on the game. First person games, I tend to dislike it stronger because you're constantly moving your camera in a first person game. But um, third person, it depends on the kind of game. I did not really mess around with Hi-Fi Rush's phone about too much. Bear him be. I, I, I really do like the sight of this, like, Highly detailed, kind of photorealistic looking soldier, and then a fucking Moogle hanging out next to him. I like that a lot. That's very good. Koopa's a bad word in Polish. That's even better. It was brown gray for all. It sure was. Sid once told me the blight doesn't yeah. kill the land, it yeah. only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. I see. No, as you were. Seems like you should put like a fence up or something. Is there an icon for Fat Chuckle Boat? I fucking hope so. God. Shit. What are you reading? Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I wasn't born shit. The apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? That's what I'm saying. My brand. <laughs> I have special Leave cheeks. Me be. Not until you've had your medicine. You need to have your medicine. Puba. Accents. You can tell we're in a fantasy land on account of the accents. The washroom floor's all mended then. It'll hold, for now. Hey there, shirtless man. You good? Oh yeah, let's go. <sighs> mm-hmm. Good talk, buddy. He and I are gonna be best buds later. You reckon he's a soldier then? He's not out chasing yeah. really. up there in So glad Britain isn't real. Careful you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Sorry about that broom wielding bearer. The bearer of brooms. I'll be careful around these steps. I don't want to get any dust on them, in it? In it go in it go. I would hate to inconvenience you. And disrespect your hard work, up If I had a little, little smite bit of dirt on them steps. Carry on, friend. Those moves. I heard tell. Must be the Lord. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? 
And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. He's a therapist, yeah. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. There's a good lad, drink your poison. Yeah, hot chocolate. I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? She's pretty good looking. Her looking. life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. Makes sense. You're not working There's on an airship in this cave, are you? From Brandy, you know, one end of a sword from the other. Nice. Thank you, my mouse. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Well, I got avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find yeah. everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. There's the last cigarette Have left fun. on that side. You're going to finish that? Yeah, you're just going to eat it. Chat right now. Thank you, Shiv. Said F of 16 and chat. Om nom nom. Mmm, cigarettes. Om nom 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 nom. Thank you, Shiv. Uh, uh, but, uh, um, uh, uh, well, ice cold Coca Cola. Thanks for the year. Enjoy your mild, the curse cone. The, the facial animation in this game is quite nice. It is quite good. I agree. Wire mouse, thanks for 69 bits. Can you use me, please, Sid? Ha ha, twirls hair. Stop. He might if you ask nicely. Oh. I'll see she's not disturbed. Well, good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's Goots. He, he's in my... Oh no. Goots, was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, 
this old nun's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Dominant me. To the forge it is then. Uh, Goots is 12 years old. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Thanks, Goots. He gave me some rum. Hello. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sitter Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I have some continental rum. Now we're best friends. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. A Moogle's fart. Forging! The crafting of new gear as well as upgrading of existing gear can be done at a, a smithy, a blacksmith. As long as you have the recipe, I've come up with a new recipe. And the proper material, select the highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. I can make my iron belt more iron belt or more leather than iron. So why is it called an iron belt? It is nonetheless considered an improvement from the crude according one by Ackerman and Acolytes. Equip ye. And the belt. Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. We're best yeah. friends now, right? A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Notices. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock up updates for Charon's Toll, and the new forging recipes for Black Hammer. There are also notices for new quests, new piss missives, many other things. And I come all spear in game as well as the local map to indicate recent updates. Okay. That's convenient. I suppose I should think good. It does seem that this is our yeah, new I did say pistols. So this is like our hub. That's nice. And you have something new! Make it quick. What's that for you, dear? Wait, what do you get? New piss just dropped. So Okay. I can reinforce the uh, Don't know that. Uh, uh, uh huh. Okay. So th this is saying I don't have the iron bracers to make bracers one and two. But if I do get them, I can upgrade. But I do have the iron belt. Oh, but I could make it from the stuff that's here. Yeah, I can make the iron bracers and then upgrade them. Well, let's do that. No scratches, all right? And then level those up. The plus two, um, yeah, I think so. My best work, but it'll do. Moogle fart bottom text. Perfect. And <laughs> listen, Sid's not my not my type, but I do desire him carnally. Thank you, Apricot. Appreciate it. Well, but I ain't the cook, am I? Uh, he's not gonna say all, um, th though if you tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Look. Sid needed a smith, I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the fortune is the hottest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling, you bring it here along with your own materials. A scrap left over, I keep. Fair enough. Goodbye. Oh, and it gives you a check mark to be like, you already said this. That's Off pretty you good. Go, then. Don't want to keep Sid waiting. Yep. Mo Moogle fart scented candles. Fuzzy mug of Kenneth's coldest when we're done. It's tight and shit boulders. <laughs> they got some some good idioms in this game. All right, let's see it. Yeah, there you go. 
There you go. Yep. Nice technique. Yep. Work. Yep. Get in there. No. See you later. Does he? Update. Titan. Shit's folders. I'm not paying for stuff I didn't ask for. All right. Hey, Goots. Hey, doing Goots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on. Nearly there. Hey, Viz. Shoot, blankets, quick. Don't forget to hold down the active time lore button to learn about any strings, for example. Hey, Viz. Yeah. Uh, Moogle farts. Yeah, yeah hold, hold on. Um. Wait, is there? Was invite to game? No. Where's the? Uh, isn't there a way to send stickers? Is it the plus? Sticker. Yeah, hold on. Yep. Knack punching the wall, my beloved. Cause you like. Yeah, you wanna play some Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, that's Goots! One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who is a warm word for everyone. Oh, I learned about Goots. Thank you, Viz. All right. We make him comfortable while a bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? The Goots bucket. Is a Moogle fart a coupe? What the hell have I got myself into? I I imagine a, a Koopa fart being being like the reverb fart dot wav the and just on top of it Koopa. That's what I'm picturing. But hello. It's pitched up. Yeah. Huh? Mm, it They're is. freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> You good? Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. He looks well, like the on. same slave, but... Shift your ass. It's been 13 years, so I kind of doubt it. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Yeah, there's going to be a PC part of this eventually, but... It is, it is PC. It's PS5. Like a hot minute. Yeah, like, I would imagine maybe next year? Possibly? Hopefully not much longer than that. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, the peace report's not been announced. <sighs> I did say so. 15 was two years later. Mm. Hopefully it's not that long, though. I, I hope more people are able to get their hands on this. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's good. It's not like other Squeenix games I've played of late. Like Forspoken or, or to a lesser extent than Forspoken. Um, Stranger of Paradise. He's going to be like, right. there's stuff that I like here, but, I'll need but to examine them both in the infirmary. it's like not quite clicking for me at one point or another. My work's just begun. This is, this is more my speed. For the most part. Making a PS5 seem worth. <laughs> Insert JPEG of uh, that. Someone, someone did the meme. You know the, the meme of uh, another fine day. The meme of of Goku and Vegeta, and they're like, "Oh, we can't fight here. Let's fight somewhere empty." And someone has them fighting on top of the PS5 Wikipedia page for for PS5 exclusive games. Uh, yeah, it's been years, and that list still is like six games. I think it's it's not many. I have gotten a lot of usage out of my PS5, but yeah, it's... Unless you're really going to be making it your default game machine like I kind of have. 
It's also become my default media machine because it had been the PS4, and in comparison to the PS4, booting up the PS4 and just being like, I want to pull up like YouTube. It'd be like half an hour of just the PS4 being like, and it's just sitting there loading and it just takes forever. PS5 is so snappy and quick. It's it's very nice, even just for stuff like that. But yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I sent it to a friend last minute ago. It's a very good meme. Um, it's probably not worth crossing over yet unless you really think it'd be worth it for you. But I do enjoy it. It's it's a nice little machine. It's just, it is fucking enormous. Oh, I do I. So. To many of the bearers who come here arrive. Bloodborne goes to the machine. There you go. It's no easy thing. Casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. Yeah, that's kind of what I did, Rosebud. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Surprise. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Oh boy, Karen's tall. Right. I have to learn oh. my PS5 to get by 560. Oh, thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. The automatic. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here. You're still using a PS3 for welcome. YouTube? I respect it. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. Yeah, my Switch is also the occasional YouTube machine. I mean, I'm exaggerating somewhat, but yeah, no, compared to the PS4, the PS5 is just very nice for quickly doing stuff. Keep an eye out for the green meh above the heads of certain NPCs. They indicate they have a quest to offer. Oh boy. After examining quests, quest objectives appear on the to-do list. So click on the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized in the journal tab by highlighting and pressing X. Objectives for prioritized quests can be displayed in the to-do list until the quest is complete or another quest is given priority. Prior status for quests can be removed by highlighting and pressing X again. The following hideaway facilities are now available. A thousand tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Valisthea, and the Orchestrion, a personal jukebox for songs classic out through the game, both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo. I, I read the Fat Chocobo out of the corner of my eye and I got really excited. The, the name of the eatery is the Fat Chocobo. Can be found on the local map of... Okay. Thank you for dashing my hopes, sir. These people. Expertly setting up and then dashing my hopes. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? Chair on. It's Clive. Well, Clive. There's a move I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Um, I, w I was scrolling through the meme parlor to try to see where where that meme is and I saw this instead and I I despise this. Thank you. Thank you for whoever made this. That sucks real bad. Um where is it? Um is it just the most it is the most recent thing. Okay. Alright computer activate mooglefart.mp3 Okay. I didn't know how loud it was going to be, so I turned it down. That is, that is, uh, incredible. One more time. Art. Maybe one more. <laughs> All right, thank you, Owsley. It's very good. Uh, both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valisthea. Shop stock changes as the story progresses. Be sure to check infrequently. Oh boy. I can buy a broadsword that's better than the one that I already have? <laughs> Didn't I make a broadsword? Or am I mistaken? What did I make? I don't have any valuables. I know, I know, hold on. That's all. 
Thank you for answering, Panda. Yeah, I know. Oh! Hi. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. We go way back. All right. All right, I can make an exception. Oh, nice, Metro Man. It was a fun build, oh, right? Just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. I'm arm straps. Didn't I do something with my weapon too, though? Thank me. Thank you, dog. It's gonna be Dan's new text tone. <laughs> I'm gonna forward that to Dan. Miles working like this. Hey, it's really cute. This is good. Uh, wait, I was gonna see what did, what did I what did I uh, shit? Where's my gear? I I did something with I thought I did something with my weapon. Maybe I'm no, it was the belt, wasn't it? We did the we upgraded the belt as part of the thing. Is the dog dies will straight have a copy of this game? Yeah, same. All right, let's get a new weapon. What do you want? Taking an interest, are you? Wonder why such a comely, cultured lady would cast her lot with this rabble. Because she got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser, that's why I scratch Sid's back and he scratches mine. Literally? Do you have the deets, madam? Uh, use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I ask. This, does she, hold on, does she? She's got red blue glasses. She sees the world in 3D. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I to sweeten the deal. To sweeten the deal is giving me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill, and there's no shortage of them, believe you me. Okay. She's all bad. Go on, then. A broadsword. How much money do I have? I have 516 gil. For all my gil, I can have five more attack. It's probably worth it. When a bear dies in service of the San Braqua Imperial Army, it's more likely his sword, not his body, will be retrieved from the battlefield that it might be provisioned to the next unwilling volunteer without additional cost to the crown. That's some good, good little flavor text there. That your sword is more valuable to them than you are. Even in the hands of an untrained soldier, the broadsword can prove a deadly weapon, which is why it remains a popular choice for armies across the twins. It also doesn't hurt that the pig iron blades are extremely simple and inexpensive to forge. Give me that broadsword. You give me. It better all be here. And I'm selling this shit. Take, yeah, it's worth 50 gold. Damn. This thing's worth nothing. Most people see the world in 3D. I yeah, but she I'm does. Trying to buy it. But she sees the world in 3D like, like red and blue 3D. You know, it's like real 3D, unlike the fake 3D that we see. One eye sees the present, the other side I sees the past. And both eyes don't like you one bit, sir. Uh, this is all used in crafting. This potion is 20%. Okay, so it's not a set amount. It's a percentage-based thing. That's good to know. I like that because that means potions will be valuable throughout the entire game instead of a certain point you're like, I don't care. So potions are 20%. High potions are 40%. Strength increases attack by 10%. It's not that much. Stone skin increases defense by 30%. That's more like it. That's not a very... I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess you can pop that when you stagger someone and just do a little bit extra. Oh my god. We love a scaling oh, health potion system. We really do. Thank you. Her eyes have smell of vision. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Capital. You mean she can smell things with her nose? No, she smells with her eyes. <sighs> this whole place is falling apart. Hi, Jeffrey. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Werewolf says my cat is purr. It's very good. Ah, you there. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? 
Um, I'd be happy to. Is that saying my reward is zero something? Oh, is that that's how much wood I need, or I have? Is that an icon for wood? The hell is that? It's just like a little golden something. All right, I'd be happy to. Yeah. I'd be happy to. No, that's how much gill you oh, get. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Great. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage. They aren't paying me. Well, I'm just it here to help. It looks like you've got your hands full. Yeah, I'm happy to help. Uh, you can say that again. And the fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. You think he looks like Jeff Teeley? The walls need shoring up. Can't I do not have see the, that. Uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest. Now, can we? <laughs> Icon of wood, woodman? No, I suppose not. Woodman, real? All right. Where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. I miss Paul McCartney too. That quest is not my priority, but thank you for giving me the option. Remind me of Bolson. Yeah. Shit. Sorry, I didn't mean didn't mean to kick that chicken. I just want to pick up all the quests and then I can ignore them the rest of the game. Do you think we should go and help? Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Who's stealing sips from that pot? Who's having a go at this soup? Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat child is pissed. a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. What's in the box? Uh, 500 money? Yeah. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. All right, dial it back a bit, sir. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Hot soup! Coming through! Prioritize. This is my priority now. This is the most important thing I could be doing. I just put them in my pockets. <laughs> How long has it been? I'm just sloshing around soup onto the floor everywhere I go. Hello. To retrieve? If I'm placing game. Your food. Soup. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. I mention it. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Hey, thanks. Soup? Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely are we, August? Takes him a sec. To recognize the soup. It's been many a year since I've had a soup. The soup processors are slow. They require upgrading. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. He's reading from the I tome of cozy burden. anime farming sims. I'm no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but... See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. I'm liking a charcoal. Thank you. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. 
A wizened man. Hello. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Perchance. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm a collector, you see. They bound the Not Stardew Valley wiki. Bobbles, but of stories. Mm -hmm. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. He has a beard braid for every book he's finished. He's finished five whole books. When I was very young... And lived beyond these shores, my father would read to me every night from the only book we had. A History of Alistair by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by this realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley that I might see it with my own eyes. Yet, when I arrived... What I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by the blight and the evil in men's hearts. Still, I was determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could. And so I did in all manner of places and all manner of roles until my aging legs could carry me no longer. Fortunately, Sid found me by the roadside, so to speak, and offered me a place here where I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. Show me your tomes, good man. I have a few new notes that might interest you. The Thousand Tomes is a comprehensive compendium of Valsthian lore. Covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history, new information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story. Somehow, past active time lore entries can be viewed here. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Uh, this is very good at all. Oh, he didn't level what up his wisdom. What shall we consider today? Tell me. I feel a revelation may be close at hand. There's a search? Holy shit. Oh my god. This is, this is a lot. Dominant related topics. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I love this is great. This is legitimately Great. How's Ambrosia doing? During the attack on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clev's rescue saving him from certain death at the cost of an eye a price she gra gladly paid She survived Good news Ambrosia's okay pirate barb Clive's faithful friend, Torgal. The two are separated on the night of the tragedy at Phoenix Gate, yet reunited 13 years later in the depths of the Nysa Defile. In the intervening years, Torgal not only grew into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Clive again, Torgal gladly returns to the service of his former master. Yeah, woo. Oh, he was so little back then. Yeah. Now fully grown. Yeah, woo. Gandalf in his tower basement flicking through tomes, and then he finds, by God, the Moogle Farts tome. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, oh God, there's, there's, there's quite a few things in this game, aren't there? Okay. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Thank you, sir. <laughs> He's fine. Hello. All done, I presume? Splendid. Hmm? They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their yeah. master's pleasure, but... men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. And nothing bad will ever More happen here. reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here's Clark. the real fantasy. Do come and visit Stop. me again, won't you? Da, 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 ba, 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 quest. Oh no, strawberry. Have a good VOD. Thanks for hanging. I got some Y right. 
Right. This place is gonna go to shit later. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to give it a kick and reap the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. Why is it phrased like that? Give it a kick. A badge of metal. What we got? Is, is, is that a gear? Yeah. Whoa. Ha. It sure is. Increases defense by 10. Hey. The strength of a city is defined by the guard that mans its walls. The strength of a city guard is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels on their breasts. This badge provides its wearer with one of the two. A laurel upon thine titty, my lord. Uh, yeah, I, I already timed over. The, that's fine. All right. A boob laurel, you say a litty. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. As always. Mm hmm Yeah, what's over here? Hello. You got any wood? Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some Step wood. Step on the I think so. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, master double check. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Um, because yeah, you have to equip your, your new gear and stuff, but I thought that I did when I made it. Yes. Yes, I did. Which is very nice. So when you make it, they're like, do you want to equip it? It's better. And you can just be like, yep. But thank you for the reminder to check. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? There, I picked up the essence of wood in the palm of my hand. Jeffrey, good news. I now know what wood planks look like. This will help you, yes? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. I have the have a single wood plank. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. What did you give? Me? What'd you give me? He gave me a piece of meteorite and a gill bug. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it's highly sought after by physicers for use in brewing medicines. In summer, when the beetles are most numerous, children across the realm will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. As children have tiny hands, however, this amounts to fewer than one might expect. Can we trade it for Gil? I got a bug! Thanks for handing me a bug that was in your pocket, sir. Yeah. Valuable bug. So I didn't get money as a reward, but I kind of got money as a reward. Hello. Oh. The Arate Stone is now accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Neat. I mean, I might as well take a peek. Huh. The spoons are reacting to you. All virtuous wasn't because one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, you can see my controller on the right. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Bam, bam, bam. Magic missile. Bam, bam, bam. 
You see me mashing. I mean, you could in the HUD already. If you look not where the controller is, but where it's just like attack fire and stuff, you can see them change. So you can see me mashing in there and being like, do the thing, do it. But yeah, it's cool. All right. Uh, how do I? How do I quit? How do I? Oh. I can just be like, yeah, let me fight one of those. Look at you. Oh, yeah. I really admire the art. Yeah. Boy, that is a really weird after image that it creates. Try square triangle over and over. Wait. Hit. It's kind of slow. Oh, you have to be quick about it. And it does a magic burst. I see. Oh. Hmm. So if magic burst pops up, you're doing it right. Because what I have been doing is trying to do the four hit combo and then ending it with a burst, and it wasn't quite working. Although right, it does work when you're when you know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, can I can I actually? How do how do I get out of training mode? How do how do, how do I how do I leave? How do I get out? End training. There it is. There it is. You don't. This is the game now. Thank you. I don't know how to read, so yeah. You're here forever now. I love a sphere grid. You all done? Hey, Sid. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Let's go, Bubbo. Yeah, pop. Yeah, pop. Yeah, he's all grown up, Shiv. Fast travel. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing to the main story, discovering waymarks known as obelisks. World map will open up automatically upon leaving an area. It can also be accessed anytime. I kind of really, really like that this game is not fully open world. That makes me very happy. Oh, yeah. That's a good girl. Yeah. Hungry, are you? Oh, little shimmy. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, you too? Yeah. What about you over here? You doing good? Yeah, you doing good. Birds and doggos. I also appreciate the boundary line being like, you're leaving the map now. That's good. FF14, but single player. I mean, that's, that's Yoshi P, right? And his team. Uh, the Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood, it serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire. While its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. Yeah. The Bourbon Doggle Raid is excellent. It's good. Appreciate it. I felt like I spent the whole game in FF15 waiting to see a Chocobo. And I was like, this is kind of not as good as the car, huh? <laughs> it was situational. Wait, which was kind of nice. Thank you, Roseblood. Have a good Bastard. one. Thanks for hanging. Everywhere. Hope you enjoy it when you get to it. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Beaten by accident. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Toggle. Now, 
We don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Fanding Embers. Toril has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Use left to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick, heal, and ravage. So they're not pet commands, are they? The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands when this item is equipped. Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Mm hmm. It's pretty. Holy shit, look at him go. It's over. We're trying to do the magic burst. There. So I can't do it again? Is he occupied? That Morgan had kill on it? Okay. Ravage. Ow. Shit. That's enough. Yeah. Good. We still have a way to go. A spin wolf. He's a good pup. So I wonder how deep the party system is going to get. It seems like you have basically one party member you can issue commands to. So I'm curious if you gain multiple party members, if we can swap out like one at a time. Or, I wonder. Or if it's just quest based. Hello. It looked like the hwe hwe lizard. You know, the laughing lizard that's like... <laughs> what in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Yeah, you know. Looking for food. Yeah, that's the one. The walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the blight. It's a BTTV global emote, I swear. Oh, sod. Yeah. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Don't eat the dog. Fall for is she British? Let's try and stay out of its path. Gotta look out for Ewoks too. Oh god. Remember when I said the deadly beasts? Well the shrubs at these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. Get him, Torgo! Yeah. No, no, don't, no, you. Wait. Yeah. What was that? Potion? Well, that's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. I got two pinches of magic ash. <laughs> That's the most Final Fantasy, that's not Final the most fantasy pickup I've ever gotten in a video game. Two pinches of ash? Like, come on. What do you mean that's a battle drop? <sighs> Two pinches of magic ass. Off the ears. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Popo. Oh, oh. Is going to change the voice language? Yes. But the lip sync is only for the English voice acting. So even you switch, switch to a different language. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? 
the lip sync will not match then. Secret of Evermore has pinches of ash Since for there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Hmm. That is a good visual. Mind it's red. Out. Okay. Oh boy, shiny. <sighs> Two sharp things. Two pinches of ash. And a partridge and a giant lizard. Oh. Never mind. Hi. A wyvern. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Meh. Nope. Jump on him. Don't attack Torgal, attack me! Shit. I do not have that timing down at all. For the magic burst. Worse now than I did before with it. <laughs> Which wiper is this? This is the uh, Yen Garuga. Enemy slain. It is Rathalos esque. Those four distinct limbs. But they called it a wyvern. Dragon Talon. Upon close inspection of the lesser dragon's foot, one may observe the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss, weakening them for the kill. And I got a sharp fang. Fangs. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Okay. The music that was like, is this time for romance? Nice. I really like how quick that was. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that prompt? Come back. Come back. Whoa. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. The game is good. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Squeenix knows what we want. He gave I'll it to admit, us. I hadn't counted on that. Uh, who? What? He's barking, and his icon is also barking. Is it, boy? Hmm? Uh, animal, when you trust in your animal instinct when you have an actual animal at your side. If you're lost, hold down L3 and let Torgo point you in that direction. What do you see, buddy? That way. Yeah. But there's treasure this way. I use the potion. Yep. Yeah, if your inventory is full, you use it. I don't know what happens if your inventory is full went. and your health is Thank full. You, if it just leaves it, but... I don't know. Yeah, these, these crawl spaces and gaps are similar to God of War, but you get, you're get you much quicker getting through them. So it's not nearly as annoying. Hello. Well, they all want you up here. And for once, it's not my fault. Stay down. 
I did a thing. It's over. That's it. Mortal blow. This is stupid. I like wolves. <laughs> I don't think they care, Sid. I do too, Sid. But I like Sid better now. Bleh. Stop it. No, wait, wait, hold Stay down. How is this? I like it. I'm into it so far. I'm into the combat. I think what I've seen in the plot so far is compelling. If you have a PS5, I do recommend checking it out. It is expensive, though. It's, it's 70 bucks US. No, it doesn't. It's pricey. Show me the way, boy. Show. Think play more off stream? Yeah, I do plan to. I think I will keep playing it. I just, I'll add it to the mountain of other games that I've started on stream and haven't finished yet. So we'll see. Why must you kill wolves in every video game? I know. No, nothing has made me more aware of how many dogs and wolves you kill in games than since I started streaming. And people get sad every time I hurt anything that's dog-like. And I'm also sad about it, but... What are you gonna do? Game developer wants to have a bad time? You have a bad time. Is that it? Yeah. It's very pretty. Hello. Yeah, I was gonna say this looks like a boss arena, if I've ever seen one. They don't fight for the empire that we know of. Maybe there's a dog empire. Oh. He's laughing at us. What's so funny, buddy? I like him. His design is fun. You better hope so. Give me some fucking this music. Too long. Yeah. So much for your shortcut. Whoa. Still short. Just not quite as quick. Ooh, he rolled so over. If you help me. I am. Um, oh, it's back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this time. Oh boy. I wanna get out of this corner. There we go. Who's that? Don't let them get away. Yeah, it's quite hard. No. <laughs> uh, I love this. They did not skimp out on the monsters in this. Fuck. He missed that. Not this time. No. I saw that tail moving. Shit. He's spinning. No one knows. This is when motion blur is good, chat. For a thing like that. Look how good that looks. Oh my god. I doubt he'll do that again. Okay. But if we right. kill him first. I'm going 
agree to disagree. That's fair. I think when something's rolling around like that and it's a blur, I think it looks good. Yeah. Shit. That's what I see. There's a good boy. Has he been staggered? Yeah, I staggered him a minute ago. Gonna be Clive, not where he is. Oh boy. It feels awesome. It does feel good. It feels impactful, but also quick. And I already have enough, like, little things I can do and cooldowns and combos and stuff. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very solid foundation. Like, if it doesn't get any more complex, then I'll be a little bit like, eh. But I, still, I, I do like it so far. Um, I got some gnarled scale. It's carving time. <laughs> According to the demo. Red. Oh. Phase two. Oh, come on. Stand back. Oh no, he's hotter. Alright, Sid. You're... You're dominant. Well, I mean, he... generated lightning when he saved I us. Hi. We were with Jill. In the well, desert. Choice, man. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. He's a dog! Sorry sack of bones, Ramu saw fit to home. Ramu... Show me Ramu. Show me, show me Ramu. I want to see what it looks like in this game. Sid. You say you want to help Dominance and Bearers. But what's in it for you? Goes for magic, that's fair. But maybe it's the level of magic? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack. Dominance and Bearers are no different from anyone else. Knack. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. He's like 30. How old is he? I'm expecting it to be like Ace Attorney. I, I only just now realized his name is Sidolphus. It's not Sid, it's Sidolphus. Founder and leader of the hideaway where he and his comrades labor to liberate bearers and dominance from servitude. A life that Sid knows all too well as he bears the burden of being the dominant of Ram, Warden of Thunder. No longer does he fight for any one nation, but for all the peoples of Alistair. Sidithi. Let's get a scoochin'. You enjoy so far? I am. 
Yeah, it's a good time. Right. What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough as it is. Nope. Kiss them on the mouth. We Bees! Kill them with fire! They're not bees, they're hornets. They're bad. Oh god, the bees! Oh sh- I'm sorry, this trophy is called She. Only 15 shields, treasure, shields, combined, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I just needed to. I just was not expecting that from a Squeenix game. Yeah, Sheev. Sheev! Don't kill the bees. Hornets are the devil, though. Yeah. Hornets and wasps, I'm good. Bees, friends. Um. Is that a. Wait, that's the wrong. I gotta tap it for the map, right? Do I do I not have a map of this area? I sure just have a world map. Okay, well, Clive's twenty eight is probably like forty ish. Damn. Well, we can fight some guys. We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. What river? In that time. Right. What river? What are you talking about? Well, I do want to go there. I just want to see. Is there something else back? This river. That's the river. The river. That's where I slid down and went we. Okay, I see. Clive looked younger. The stream? What about the stream? Oh. Hey, get fantastic. Hey, you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Get him. yeah, I like how the dogs spin. Ow. Wait, don't I have a way to slap him down to the ground? I do. I think it's X and Square together. While I'm airborne. <laughs> I thought the game crashed. I didn't know that was the last enemy, and I kicked him, and everything hitched, and I was like, huh? Like, for in that millisecond, I just panicked. Okay, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> just kicked him right in the stamen. Yeah, got him. Doll learned how to spin from Sid. Yeah, he did. Um. Okay. Whoa. Give me that. Give me that magic dash. Yeah, I I do I don't dislike the 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 the, the motion blur. If it was up to me, I would just tone it down a smidge. I think it's really aggressive. Uh, is this coming back to where I've been? Why? Yes, it is. Cool. Right. Does sound like triple A. Yeah. No, this game does seem pretty well polished. Me, 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 bit turned around, but that's probably fine. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. 
Yeah, give him a big old pat. Yeah, he did a little spin. Yeah. Um, that looks not where I want to go. Okay. Yes. In cinematic, not realistic or pleasant to see. I mean, it, 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 I think for a 30 FPS game, which this game has a performance mode, but it's not great, so I'm playing on quality mode. Um, hopefully they patch it to make it a little better, because my preference is always 60 FPS, given the option. Um, but motion blur can make 30 feel smooth if it does have either frame rate issues or just like, I don't know. It can, in some types of games, in my opinion, help kind of tie the image together, but... When it's overdone, it just turns things into a blurry mess when you do anything. And for a game like this that's really dynamic, sometimes it turns into a blurry mess. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking at. But I do like it in some instances. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, boy, we got a wyvern. Shit. No, no. Uh, uh, get him. Spin on him. Spin on him, boy. Give him a spin. Sick him. Back. Back. Stop it. Give him all you've got, boy. Zap him, Sid. Yeah. Get him, boy! That sounds like a prompt from like a rhythm heaven. It reminds me of the frog. Spin it, boy. Spin it, boy. I don't know why it does. It just does. Yeah, hit him right in the cloaca. Ow. Thank you. Got him. Don't know what the camera was trying to show me, but it felt cool. Oh, I guess it's that. I see. Speedy boys. I just wish this game had from soft ragdolls after you killed them. Imagine it flopping around and glitching out. I, that's probably why they didn't do it. It's supposed to reduce motion blur. I suppose I could. At this point, I... So, I mentioned earlier that I watched Digital Foundry's video uh, about this game before I played it, because I'm always curious in performance and stuff like that for big games like this. And they go into technical detail, which is always... I'm a sucker for that shit. Um, and he was just like, I recommend just not switching between performance and quality, because if you're used to 30 FPS, I think it looks fine. But if you start switching between 30 and 60, then you go back to 30 and you're like, ugh feels real slow. So I kind of don't want to. <laughs> but if they patch performance mode to make it run a little better, I'll, I'll definitely give that a shot. It drops like 40 sometimes. Yeah. Which, you know, a, a consistent frame rate is more important to me than necessarily a fast frame rate. It depends on the game, you know. The Royal Scout. It would ruin the tone of the game. Yeah. Someone's far from home. Check in with the Moogles. What Moogles? Let's follow him. I can check in with Moogles? Hmm. It brings me back. <laughs> no, 11 FPS takes me back to my childhood playing N64 games. Check in with their farts. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that in a little bit. And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Grieger. Excellent. Uh, uh, uh. 
We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? Why are they being of Joss Whedon? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Should have been me. <laughs> what? Ma'am, what? Why? A woman. Benedicta Harman, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can catch Thank you, Hydro. Her. Welcome. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! No. Uh -oh. Time to do a murder then. Let's get this over with then. Yep. Yeah, it's Wolfling. I scanned an amiibo. Unlocked Wolfling. Not giant lizards. What are they, the wind? No, but they can spin and do flips. Maybe I shouldn't fight that one first. Uh you there. Okay. Nope. Right. Okay. All right. Time in. Yes, yeah, Zip. Ah. Yeah. Shit. Stop stabbing me! Good. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm ready. Sick of Togo. Get him. Yeah. Don't let them get away. Yeah. Shit. Not this time. Get up. Get up. What? When the screen flashes orange, repeatedly tap square. Okay. Thank you. Get him! Behind you! He literally teleported behind him. I love video games from 2007. Whoa, okay. Now, nah. let's push that on. boy. Futon? That's a comfy sounding attack. Not this time. I should keep on my feet. Get the more you've got for 
Try to dodge that. Not this time. Get him. Watching this game gonna make me reinstall 14. Well, R.I.P. I got a badge of might. Increased attack by seven. Noise. The warrior soldiers from Imperial will display the courage on the field of battle, feeling of accomplishment and kills, and the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. Cool. The badge of M. You know. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria. Yeah, it's justified one text. Less so. than a phoenix at that. Sometimes it gets real spread out. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. You never just fucked around with Microsoft Word back in the day, Viz? Fire has always had just the one warden. That's how I learned about rest, justified text. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. Writing's for nerds. Yeah, fair. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. He's too cranky to lie. But one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in a lost swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. He's looting the body. Someone discovers the bodies. Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. He's looting the bodies. Stage replay in arcade mode. Available in the Arid Stone. Enter the virtual basket for deals on each new options. Okay. It's interesting. You can just replay parts of the game, I guess. Wow. Mine. Order Bell Downs. The idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless no unless one knows where to look. Luke. 
Oh, but I can also just go back to the hideaway. Talk to the Moogles. Games you missed. Yeah, I guess if there are, or like rare drops from certain enemies or something. That makes me worried that there's going to be like grinding for drops, but you know. Why don't you come back? I don't know. <laughs> Sometime later, the Holy Empire of San Brake. Achievements so could be. arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Sid said airship. Those flying days seem to be behind it. Come on, Sid. Shame that. It's in your DNA. Come you on, buddy. You think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Must have never been connected before. What? I know it's a fast travel thing. I tuned with an obelisk whilst Clyde the crowd uh, quickly across the location. Blah, 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 blah. Clyde need only approach an obelisk to attune with it. That's also nice. I don't have to walk up and hold the button and louder than woods. Here's your open world. Well, it's a bunch of like little bits on the thing. It's like it's like a, a, a discreet. This is the first time I've seen one of these things that. Perhaps I can use them as my marks. I don't know, I like it. It doesn't, it, it allows them to just focus on what's interesting about each area instead of making sure they can connect each area. Get map in the area. Oh, yeah. Oh, just look at all that. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be able to run it for some world. Well, it would, they just would have had to make a lot more compromises about the... Did I, did I just unlock a super run? Because you're shuffling and then you run long enough and he just... Yeah. Okay. That's kind of nice. Figures up ahead. Oh, the are they friends. This is where the grapes are. Oh shit! There they. Are. Yeah, there, there they are. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta. Um. This is important. God, look at those grapes, man. Enhance. Enhance. Look at them grapes. Look at that. Each grape is fully modeled. Wow. This is next gen. Look at that. Um, uh, For anyone that, that does not know, if I uh, do a quick little search, uh, in, in Final Fantasy XIV, the, the, uh, the, these grapes caused an uproar. Um, people were very upset about the Final Fantasy XIV grapes, and, and Square Enix later patched them. Um, because, you know, gamers. <laughs> uh, I, I, there's a part in the Digital Foundry video about this game where he goes on a whole separate, he's got, he has the, 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 it's, Digital Foundry does reviews, but always focus on the technical side of games. Um, they do touch on other parts of it, and they, it's like, okay, we're talking about the character rending, the environmental rendering, uh, audio, and things like that, uh, performance, frame rate, but also there's a section that's just dedicated to the grapes. Just, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, is there... I do have more points. Um, so what if I level this up? Mastery recruits this time and be required to be played before the I don't know how to say words, but that does sound good. Give me that. Whoa. Slice down. That's a move I should be using. No, no, so that's what that's what I try to use, but they're just not airborne. So how do I So I guess I can just always do that, but if I want to be juggling them, but I don't know how to juggle. Close in. What does mastering do? Grapes. Uh, increased lunge distance. Ability potency increases with distance. Oh! I didn't realize that. The further you are from an enemy, the more potent an ability combo that is. Executing dodge. Also forgot to taunt. I have that. Um. Instead, extends trigger window. Yeah, okay. I like being able to precision dodge easier. Uh, triangle immediately after landing a melee attack deliver a close-ranged magic burst. 
Extends trigger window. Yes, please. I don't have enough points. Shit. Fucked up. I fucked up real bad. Chat. Okay, frames. All right. Oh, boy. It's a royal Osfreyer. Oi, Osfreyer. You want a tussle? You what, mate? I said, do you want a tussle? What level are you? Uh, hold on. Um... Wait, where is that written down? I'm level 13. Oh, same as me then. So would you like to tussle? Yeah, all right. Let's tussle. This might take a while. Ow! I didn't know we were tussling the swords. Stay down. Ow! Ow! Uh. Yeah, get him. I'm deceased. I missed that guy. It's over. Ugh. Turn your PvP on. Come on, bro. PvP me. More Waludas. Why? What is it they want? Mm -hmm. You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. Oi, brother, I'm a bit deceased, isn't it? Err. Uh, me mortal coil. In tatters. Quest destination nearby. Uh, yeah, thank you. Lost Wing, the Holy Empire of Sambrake. Okay. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. I like that the soundtrack has like synths and stuff in it. Him? Good question. It's not purely orchestral. Shout. I like it a lot. Subtle. A quest destination. A quest destination. I don't even know what he looks like. The village can't be completely abandoned. Can it? Can it? Explore Lost Wing. Um. Uh. Hello. That sounds like a child. Weepy sobbing. Hello. How are it's you? Alright. I'm not one of them. My friend and I were with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In. In the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here? Oh, it's me, Weepy Sobbins. Welcome to me village. To the church, then. I'm the village representative, Weepy Sobbins. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> He's best friends with Nifty Honk and Gubbins. They were roommates in college together. Thank you, Fizz. <laughs> How do I convey? You did. You did good. This man's going to die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. <laughs> Stand back. It's not even phased. Sobby weepins. I thought he was going to kick the door. Damn, dude. Mm, who the hell are you? Clive! <laughs> Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, guy? <laughs> Barely. That was like a full second Been longer than I, I expected. For the villagers, <laughs> but 
I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. <laughs> Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. It was a dominant among them. Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him. The Lou? Oh, we skipped the stairs. Look at that. <laughs> That's a funny little detail. Oh, you get him! You, you get, get him! Nope. Take the stairs two to. There you go. Why can't I ride Torgal like a battle steed? Companion, it's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. He should be a Palamut. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Cair Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My sex. Hey. To our lady hey. of the wind. And the king! Hey. <laughs> uh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Stabbed him through plate mail. She's strong. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. OMG, I wish that were me. Why is if someone says that every time someone's killed in this game? Someone's like, God, if that were me, though. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Persona. Garuda Standstorm? Jirada. What is that thing? If this means what I think it does, then Sid has some explaining to do. Get him! Thank you for highlighting where your attack is going to be. So far, its attacks are very well telegraphed. Even though I will be jinxing it by saying that out loud. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. The 
you. Woo hoo. You better be on your way, Sid. Okay, well, tried the magic first. Damn boy. A fine hound. Damn. Sleep. Can't confirm, gamer Dylan. Yeah. I got a physical copy, and inside is just an ad for FF14. It made me sad. <laughs> a cleric's medallion. Oh yeah, I got a necklace that I should have equipped. Increases healing potency by twenty percent. That that's a lot of percent, actually. Damn. Okay. It's working in real time, yeah. Chat's going, maybe I should resub. That's funny. Even for a branded. <laughs> Remember manuals? Five. Yeah. I miss manuals. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a Jonah. question, Lord Commander. Oh. Why? Mm-hmm. Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, son. She literally threw down a smoke bomb and ran away. And she's gone. And they could have gone anywhere. Not the only path from here. Might as well stand here. Oh, okay. Benedicta. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. Oh. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> Only had the forethought to play this when she blasted the wind. <laughs> that wasn't quick enough. Save for new game plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off in the room. So, no, someone made Moogle uh, fart then. Wasn't about bears at all. Owsley, man. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Why can't any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof? Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain, and then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar. Hoping sooner or later someone would break. You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. 
And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the bow, whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. You spoony bard. His lance levels mountains, it thunders the deep. Listen, Clive. <laughs> he doesn't like Ellen. Like bring him back. He won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fight. You're content to be a slave, then. Why was he making those noises? Why well, was why well, that sound like lip smacking noises? How are you doing that? The trick noises are a lot. His and Karen Norman would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire. Those noises were probably Sid fans. On the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> he got a boba. A beer. Well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions. Could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Your bow sounds like a Star Wars. Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. <sighs> Lord Margrace, don't! Wish that were me. Stop it! Stop it. I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Margrace, yeah. Do be gentle with them. Hold on. Wait, time out. So that's Benedicta. Where the kingdom of Wallows, elite intelligence sirs and true scholar of the blade. Who leads your loyal minions from the front after attending the negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zernitra stronghold, where she crushed the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka. She parted company with her liege lord in order to see lead a secret incursion into Imperial territory. The dominant of fire, a mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, immediately before the appearance of the second icon of fire, the very icon that slew the heir to the Ducal throne. Uh, Clive believes this man to be the dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. Is it Yoshi P in a hood? Crystal fetters? A restraining device for bearers and dominance that uses precisely arranged and activated shards of crystal to disrupt the flow of aether through their flesh, thus preventing them from priming or casting magics. So valuable are the materials from which they are made and so rare the skill required to craft them. There are very few specimens in existence and they are only employed when absolutely necessary. Yeah. Okay. Build stronghold. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Right. He would never insult self insert into his fan of fantasy. Okay. He he never he never puts himself into the video game. He's not like a Kojima. That's good to know.
Clive. <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. I even for a 14 event. Nope. Okay. Okay, good. I'm glad we're all in agreement then. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way. Suppose I'd better Sid, scout ahead for gift. any surprises. Has just been born. Don't you let him down. I won't. A sneak. Right. You want to pause and go, wait, what the fuck is this proper noun? Is so fast. useful. Yeah. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Do you? No. Hmm. Yeah, the, the being able to pause and look things up, um, to me is a little reminiscent of Pyre. Where that game has all notable phrases highlighted in the text boxes and you can mouse over them and get like in-game tool tips. It's basically like hypertext in the game. The dead of night. He can smell that Moogle fart MP4 from a mile away. <laughs> it's coming from the east, Captain. Uh, as the story progresses, new weapons and items become available at the hideaways, trading post, as well as new forging recipes at the Black Hammer. Not that settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. Speak with Quentin. The talent, and I'll best hope we're getting a decent nice kid. For a second, I was like, where's the music coming from? I forgot that it's a video game. I thought there might have been a bar in the corner. Yeah, make that alert sound. Uh, uh yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it any number of bits. <laughs> it's guaranteed to happen. Um. Not even a random chance. This is like a whole dang thing. I mean, it is a tower, so... Makes sense. Moogle being too much fiber. Yeah, honestly, this might be a, a decent spot to... To leave it for now. And by, by for now, I mean forever, because I'm probably not going to stream more of it. But I did enjoy it, what I've seen so far. More than I expected, honestly. I heard people were really into the demo, and now I see why. It's a very smart... Way to pace out the demo. By leaving it there. This place is huge. Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, probably, probably a good spot to wrap up. They got some crystals. Thanks for streaming. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Uh, I will be back tomorrow doing some Next Fest demos. If you're interested in seeing a bunch of random bits and pieces of upcoming games. I always enjoy doing it. Is there no bard here? I mean, we heard a bard singing. Maybe he's asleep. Thank you, Kurt, for clipping that. Um, yeah. Uh, and, and we'll be getting back to Ace Attorney next Thursday. A couple of the streams in between then. Got your list yet? Yeah, I have. I, I got most of it. I'm going to do another quick looky through before I head home tonight. Um, let me find someone to raid, get cop and alerts. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. I, I hope you have enjoyed this peek. If you're just like, I want to play it when I get my own PS5. I hope you enjoy it. Have I not saved ever? Oh, that is very good. Oh, look at Oh, shit. If I hit load... Okay, there were autosaves. I was like, I thought there were autosaves. All right. But yeah. Return to the title screen. Um, Dan and Bath are doing another multi-world. Oh. That sounds good to me. Um, yeah, it uh, looks like... They're doing a multi-world where Bath is playing Link's Awakening and Dan is doing Ocarina of 
time. That's a very cool thing. Um, bring back the pixel art. Uh, Venus Varnus, thank you for the dollar I do. Appreciate it. Let me start that raid going. Or raid bath. I mean, Dan and bath. I mean, go say to both of them. I can't raid both. Uh, uh, Smash with the 10 bits. Uh, there was a leak of the of a new Tomb Raider game last August. A new art style online multiplayer. Okay, 2023. A four month spike will be in there. Well, there you go. Hell yeah. Fancy Panda, thanks for gifting a sub to Moogle Farts. Shouts to Moogle Farts. One more for the road. <laughs> it's good. Okay, Big C. That's on my list to check out. I don't know if I'll get to it or not. But, you see, I'm like 50 50 on whether or not I'll be into it. I don't know. Uh, thank you, non-binary Sora. Uh, Kid Fantastic, thanks for six months. Five whole months since I was born in the eyes of Barry. It's six now. Enjoy your golden key. And Hydro Powered, thanks for the prime. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good one. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, I forgot. Thanks for the reminder. Last night was uh, part 13 of Dan Jones and Dragons, which is the D&D campaign I've been on over on Dan's channel. He posts VODs on his YouTube and stuff. Uh, it was a very fun session. Some very cool stuff happened. Um... If you're interested, you can check out the VODs on Dan's channel, or just hop into any random part. There's always a recap at the start. I always enjoy doing them. Um, yeah, thanks. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for hanging. This game seems real cool. Seems pretty neat. It's got particle effects for days. What more do you want? So, uh, what's our raid message? Shit. Can it be Clive? Nice. Clive. Or Moogle Farts. Moogle Farts. Yeah, that, that Moogle Fart. Thanks for the bits, Fancy Panda. Thanks for watching, VOD Watchers. Hope you enjoyed this little peek into Final Fantasy 16. Sorry I won't be streaming more of it, but I'll probably play more of it off stream when I find time. Uh, thanks. Take care. Goodbye. Bye.